Kean Law Group. Call 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Fires the ball down the middle. Jason Slade. It's time to kick off three hours of fair and honest discussions that go beyond the headlines of today's sports news. And for a Tennessee touchdown. From the Budweiser studios of 99.1, the sports animal. Here are a couple of guys with over 30 years of combined knowledge of Tennessee sports. Here's Josh and Swain. Good Tuesday afternoon. Welcome in to Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us today. We are excited to be with you for the next three hours. We are very excited for today's show. Monday's show was partly a recap of what happened over the weekend. Tennessee's win against Texas in the second round of the NCAA tournament, as well as a look ahead to Creighton coming up on Friday and everything else that might happen today. A full turning of the page, probably, Swain. We will Look ahead to Friday night. We'll talk about what's happening in the sports world right now. We're also excited for today's guests who will join us. We will talk to Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes in a little more than 10 minutes. Rick Barnes coming up at 12.15 on the show. And we will have the sleigh ride today, as we do every Tuesday, thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery. So VFL and SEC basketball legend Ron Slay will join us from 1 until 2 o'clock. Big show coming up. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, man. We'll talk to Rick Barnes coming up. We'll talk to our guy, Ron Slay. You got the first scrimmage taking place tomorrow. You got Pro Day taking place tomorrow for a couple of guys looking to make uh, really good impressions to uh, for you know NFL scouts and personnel. Big, big day here on Rocky Top in the next 24 to 48 hours leading into a huge weekend for the men's basketball team. Yep. Uh, we have said it repeatedly. There is a lot that is happening. The NCAA tournament is the headliner. Mm-hmm. But people are not going to forget about Tennessee football. Baseball game coming up later today. So we'll cover it. We'll invite you to join us as well. 865-656-9900 if you would like to call or text into the show. And uh, Ben McKee, Go Vols 247, reported that uh, Billy Amick will not be participating um, he missed some missed some time too. I mean, he's had a f- fabulous start to his Tennessee career, but he's going to miss some time um, shortly. Short short time. Yeah, not considered uh, long term, but he's dealing with an appendix mm-hmm. injury. Yep. So hopefully, guys can step up in his place and uh, bring the level of offense that you're going to miss with him out, and get ready for game tonight and then a big big sec series this weekend versus georgia yep uh tennessee tech is the opponent later today georgia coming to town this upcoming weekend for tennessee baseball so there's a lot it's a good time right now it's a good time playing for a lot lots on the line football putting on some some pads and hitting each other like for real for real playing some real football so uh, yeah, that, you had to offer good. up a, a few eye rolls to the day one, day two conversations of spring football, I think. Or more of that, more of the shoulder shrug of, well, get to me when pads are popping. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's exciting to see guys out there in the football field and the grass is green and uh, you, you get guys playing playing football. And I, I get that for – for Tennessee fans or football fans in general, like the first day of football practice, like there's a feeling um, that is hard to, to really explain. But for me, I've been doing this long enough that I'm not going to jump to conclusions in the first day of practice or the second day of practice when they're in shorts. Like I need to see how they play and who stands out when guys are playing real football, despite what the NFL is trying to do turning the game into flag football, the game itself is supposed to be played in pads and full contact where you tackle guys to the ground. Yeah, you mentioned yesterday, we didn't spend much time on it, but you're an offensive guy. You play wide receiver. So, But I don't think you like the 
changes the NFL is making. The hip drop tackle has been talked about a lot. Uh, there is also a revamping to the kickoff that is taking place. I don't know if it's getting as much attention, but the rule change that we heard of yesterday where I know uh, there's been a bit of an issue between Tennessee and Perloff and actually a few others as well, but as Sportsman a moment ago that I heard, I do agree with that one. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a nightmare, I think, of officials trying to correctly call this and whether they do get it right or not based on what the rule is, the reaction is going to be so controversial. I don't see how this goes smoothly at all. That's good that Perloff has uh, made, made a good take, good yeah, sports take. He's been on a bit of a cold streak. Real cold. It's not just related to Tennessee and its SEC championship celebration. It's a good, good bounce-back take from, from Perloff there. But I feel bad for defense players. You can't hit him in the head. Uh, you, you can't grab the jerseys and pull them down, which I understand – uh, the T.O. rule, that minimizes injuries there. But if someone is in front of you, the ball carrier is in front of you, how are you supposed to bring that player down? You're supposed to dive at their ankles, at the shoelaces, and pray that they fall? Because you can't grab them by the hip. You can't grab them by the shoulder pad and bring them down. There's only one place you can go, and that's the ankles. All you have to do is high step, and you are going to break that tackle. So it's a um, it's a rough time to be a defensive player in the NFL. And um, sometimes you can change stuff too much and mess the game up. And so uh, we're getting close to that. A lot of different things are happening uh, with the NFL. They're also going to have a Christmas Wednesday game this season. So we have a Friday night kickoff that will take place. Is that the game in Brazil? They have the typical Thursday night opener. They're going to play that Friday night of the opening weekend. They're going to play on a Wednesday on Christmas. The NBA is like, you can't give us a day where it's our day? No. No. You know the NFL is not going to give anybody any days. So a Wednesday game. I, I want to know the players' reaction to that one. They had Thursday games? I'm sure they're going to love a, a Wednesday. NFL wants all the money, yeah. all the eyeballs. Yeah, they played on Christmas this past year, but it was a Monday. So it made a little bit more sense with the way the calendar goes. So changes are coming in football and the NFL especially is the conversation. Tennessee getting ready for scrimmage action and 15 players, I believe, going through Pro Day tomorrow. Very important for those guys, too, because we didn't have a lot of players go through the combine in Indianapolis. So this is their yep. first and only job interview. For the other guys, they had opportunity in Indianapolis to have uh, their first, and now Pro Day will be their second. But it just puts that much more pressure and you know, emphasis on these guys to perform well at the pro day. Got to make sure you lose. You got to make sure that, from a technique standpoint, that you're sound uh, because this is your only opportunity. With again a lot of the focus on Tennessee getting ready for its Sweet 16 game on Friday, Tennessee's trying to get back to the Elite Eight. The Vols have only been there once in program history. It's a fascinating matchup to me what Creighton likes to do, how Tennessee plays. Creighton. Never, it seems, fouls because they can't because they don't have a lot of guys to come in if it happens. Tennessee is a very physical basketball team. Both are well coached. Both are experienced. Both are really good. It's a two versus three matchup. So it'll be really good, I think, the game coming up on Friday. Yeah, after we talked to Rick Barnes, but I, I do want to ask you about a, a defensive strategy that maybe we'll see from Tennessee more of. Uh, because of Creighton's offensive players and the players that they, they rely on, uh, not as a deep team like Tennessee. We will come back and we will talk to Tennessee's basketball coach, Rick Barnes, what he has seen from Creighton's team, what you should know about the Vols' opponent and about their preparation for the game coming up on Friday. That when we come back. Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes will join us here on Josh and Swain. Caller 5 right now, 656 wins, qualifies for the Hoop D Madness prize pack. You could be the winner of two tickets to the 2024 Wells Fargo Championship and $1,000 to cover travel costs. Hoop D swag, including two paddle boards, a cooler, cornhole boards, and a patio umbrella. That's Caller 5 right now, 656-9467. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Ted Russell Ford and Ted Russell Lincoln, where we will be in two days. We'd love for you to... Stop by and check out the show while we're at Ted Russell Lincoln on Thursday. Anytime you can stop by both locations for Ted Russell Ford on Parkside Drive 
in Kingston Pike. And right now, with just a few days to go in the month of March, you can take advantage of big savings they have on 2023 Ford F-150 trucks. They have different options from the F-Series to the Super Duty trucks that they have available. If you would like to learn more about the Lightning, check with Ted Russell Ford to see how they can help you. They are the dealership you go to if you're looking for any of the electric vehicle options from Ford. Ted Russell Ford is locally owned and operated. It's where my family has purchased and traded in vehicles several times over the last few years. If you're looking for a truck, if you're looking for an SUV, if you're looking for something from Ford, Lincoln, or different makes and models, they can help you with their pre-owned selection. Kingston Pike, Parkside Drive, and you can start online. Check out the inventory right now at tedrussellford.net. This has been a big announcement. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career you'll love with flexibility, great pay, and benefits, and one of the country's top workplaces? Come join our growing team. Go to progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. The minute folks step into Dollywood and my Smoky Mountains, I want them to fill their hearts with all the beautiful things in this big old world. Dollywood. Love every moment. Plan your visit today at Dollywood.com. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only national retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint. And when you buy a sample, we'll give you $5 off your next paint purchase. So if you want a new look for your home, look no further than Benjamin Moore paint at Ace. Stop by your local Elder's Ace Hardware for your next paint, hardware, or lawn and garden project. You'll find the best brands like Benjamin Moore, Steel, and Traeger, along with helpful advice from Elder's Ace. Offer valid on gallons of Benjamin Moore, Clark & Kensington, or Royal Paint. Let me one $5 coupon on one gallon purchase to participate. A stores only. See store for additional details and exclusions. If you're looking to grow your business and reach more customers, get in touch with Slamdot. Slamdot can help you with website design and a digital marketing plan so that when someone is searching for your product or service, they're more likely to find you. Slamdot can design a plan tailored for you. Slamdot can help with whatever kind of budget you are working with locally owned and operated with an in-house team that will focus on your needs. Get a free consultation up front. Go online to slamdot.com slash josh. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at betus.com is all about those buzzer beats. Bonus offers. And when the madness starts in Cinderella, man steps under the... BetUS always has your back with... To back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gamblers insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game. Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. We're teaming up with Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria to give you the million dollar Madness Bracket Challenge. This year, we're stepping into the hysteria by giving you the chance to win a million dollars. Follow all the buzzer beating action by checking on your bracket today. And if you've made the perfect picks, that's a million dollar bracket. Get 60 picks, that's 10 grand. There's a $500 prize for the best bracket in East Tennessee. Check up on your bracket today at 991thesportsanimal.com. Presented by Barley's Tap Room. Room and Pizzeria. Any bracket is just better with Barley's. Join us for Mission of Hope's first annual Sporting Clays Tournament, Friday, May 17th at Iron Mountain Sporting Clays in Kodak, Tennessee. Your participation in this event will directly support the Mission of Hope College Scholarship Program. Help our students break the cycle of poverty by breaking some clays. Register a team or become a sponsor today. Go to missionofhope.org for more information. That's missionofhope.org. Help Mission of Hope make a difference, one clay at a time. Fair, honest sports conversation from two guys that define credibility. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. Welcome back into Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us alongside VFL and former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain. I'm Josh Ward. And as Tennessee gets ready for Creighton coming up in the Sweet 16 round on Friday night, we are excited to welcome to the show right now Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes. Rick, we appreciate you taking time to join us this afternoon as you guys get ready for the game later this week. Is this week any different or how does it compare getting ready for the second weekend of the NCAA tournament as compared to last week getting ready for the opening weekend? 
No, we try to stick to the same schedule that we that we've always stuck to, and and with the primary focus being uh, freshness, being uh, keeping people healthy, and uh, but also with that said, there's a balancing act there where you want to make sure we do all of our prep. And you know, normally on a throughout the year we work on a two day prep, and uh, you're able to do that obviously you know on the on the Friday game, which it's almost Saturday really. By the time we get down, it will be Saturday, but. Uh, in the next day, it's uh, you know a different a different prep, but uh, at this point in time, honestly, you, we've seen a lot. Uh, the Creighton's an outstanding team; they really shoot the ball. They got a terrific post player in there, and and uh, so we know them, but they're going to know us as well. And so right now, really, the whole mindset is um, not just keep our guys fresh physically, but mentally as much as anything, because it's it's a long year. It's so hard to win a game in this tournament, let alone every weekend. It gets more difficult because of Obviously, people are playing good basketball. Coach, what's the difference in what you're telling your defenders on the wing when you're playing against a team that shoots it as well as Creighton and shoots it as much from the three-point line uh, as Creighton versus a team that necessarily doesn't shoot the ball well from the outside? What are you telling those perimeter players on the outside differently versus a team like Creighton? Well, it's all personnel-based, you know, on how we play players, and uh, but you – Again, you can think about uh, Alabama. Like we we've played Alabama, and, and they're a team that uh, has a very similar uh, philosophy as Creighton. That uh, going to shoot thirties, they're looking to shoot thirty, forty threes, and and yet with that said, you know, uh, a, a game this year against Purdue, I think Alabama made eighteen threes and still lost. And uh, a team like Creighton's going to make their shots. They're going to make them because that's what they do. And and we've got, but they, they've got to be on our term. It, it can't be a player that we know that we don't want to give him much space at all or we can't be late with our closeouts. You know, there's some players that you stand the gap a little bit longer. There's some you have to bluff and get back real quick and try to slow down the guy coming at you so the defender on the ball can get back in front. It, it's uh, The key to it all is if we can, if you can guard the basketball, stay in front of the ball, it, it helps a lot where you can really stay close to those shooters, and that's going to be important in this game. We're talking to Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes getting ready for Creighton and the Sweet 16 round coming up on Friday. Uh, what about on the offensive end for you? Why is Creighton so good defensively? What are keys to finding success offensively against them? Well, one, they don't foul. And, uh, they, they again, I think they know who they are. They uh, they play a, a really uh, – they're going to play out, out to the three-point line. They're a team that has a really good post defender who is not – he's like a one-man zone back there. And it's – some people, you know, people refer to it as drop cover. So if you want to set ball screens or anything like that, he's they're, they're content with you coming off. And if you want to shoot the mid-range shot, shoot it. If you want to come to the rim and challenge him, come on in there. Uh, if you want to pull up behind it and shoot the three, uh, that's that's their philosophy and that's how they play. And so uh, we'll do the things that we do. And obviously we'll have some different schemes that we'll have, have to try to get going there. But uh, they're just solid, and they don't foul. I mean, you go back, I think, and they play a lot of guys. They know who they are. I think they play seven, uh, maybe seven, maybe, but they've had guys that uh, played uh, the entire game uh, and, and overtime games. But, and they, with that said, not a team that's going to take a lot of chances, just going to play real solid uh, at defense, and like I said, guard it from the three-point line down. Coach, one of your former assistants, Kim English, over there at Providence, beat Creighton twice. Uh, are are you guys talking it up on the phone, or are you just looking at the film, and that's all, really all you need? The tape is the tape. Well, we we we've got to do what we do. I mean, obviously, if I, you know, I'm going to say talk to Kim, but you know, it's our team. We got two different teams. He, you know, he plays the way he plays, and we know our players. He, he his players did what he needed them to do. We, we watch. You, you'd be amazed how many tapes we watch. Our, our, I mean, I watch. Four different ones last night. My assistants are going to watch a lot more than that, and and not just that game, but you're just trying to keep searching. I mean, I go back and watch the game when uh, Creighton just took Connecticut apart, and uh, and you go back and look at it. You know, they made shots, but also, uh, you know, you listen to the coach after the game, Coach Hurley. You know, what what did he think went wrong? This, that, or whatever. So you're you're just you're just doing a lot of research, and it's not just. Coach English and his teams, but it's uh, everybody. I mean, you, you, you're going to go back and just try to get as much as you can, but know that we know our players and we know what our players are capable of, and 
we can't ask them to do something that maybe Coach English's players could do or whatever. We're just trying to give our guys the best scout report we can give them. We're talking to Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes, and Saturday night after the win against Texas, you were talking about the trust you have in Zakai, asking him, hey, do you need a rest? Do you need to come off the floor? Are you good? How much is trust, communication, a part of what your team has been able to accomplish to this point? Well, I can tell you, with the point guard position, it, it is trust because that, that's such a important position on the floor. It's like a quarterback in football or catcher in baseball. You know, somebody's really directing the game for you. But, you know, we, we, we've we been through a lot this year. We've had a lot of games, and uh, and I think trust is important where we know we're going to go out and give it everything we got. Uh, and that's, that's what you want. I mean, you know, we can't control the players. Believe me, they want to make every shot they shoot. Some nights the lid's on it, you can't make it. But the other things, you know, your effort, you know, the 50-50 balls, the block outs, the, uh, the – the details of taking care of the scout report, whether it's out of bounds on the side, underneath, all that, that 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 plays as much into it. And again, yeah, I've told people, you know, we played good basketball this year at times but didn't make shots. In a couple of the games we shot the ball well, but we didn't play good basketball from our eyes in terms of what we want to do. And uh, making shots definitely makes the game easier. Uh, but uh, if you don't, you still got to find a way to try to win a basketball game and Normally, that's through your defense and rebounding, taking care of the ball. It seems like the officiating has allowed the play, the players to determine the game, and it's been physical. I mean, not a lot of fouls have been called uh, when you compare it to the regular season. Do you feel like that plays into your brand of basketball here at Tennessee? Well, you know, it's interesting. You know, from years being on the rules committee, I used to ask that question, why, why does it seem like the NCAA tournament is called different? And uh, honestly, I think people in that room that's told me, they said, we, we don't ask people to call it differently. And But I, I think what happens in the tournament, I think that referees make the, you know, I, I'm going to use the term incidental contact. If it doesn't really affect something like if there's a, a collision away from the ball that really doesn't affect the play there, you could go by rule. That should have been a foul. But if it doesn't, we're going to play on. And uh, same thing, you see a guy going for a layup sometime, and the whistle, will, the fish will hold his whistle. And if it goes in, I think they let it play on. If it doesn't, he might blow the whistle. But you'd ask the question, well, where's the three-point play at the rim? I mean, if you get fouled, you get fouled. But uh, uh, it's a hard game to officiate. And uh, but the physicality, I, I, no one can deny that it's more physical right now. I mean, you, you're you're blind if you look at it and say the game's being called the same way because it's not. And, uh, but you have to adjust to it, you know, uh, and again, we'll have to adjust to it. Uh, I mean, we're getting ready to play a team that doesn't foul and, uh, we're going to see how they, how it plays out. And, and I say that all you got to do is look at their stats. They don't foul. And, uh, we're going to, and we, and we try not to foul. People might not believe that, but we, we harp all the time about, we don't want to put teams on the free throw line. We, we want them to earn every point they get. So we don't want them to get to the free throw line. And uh, so we're harping on it as well. And and so we'll see how it plays out. Do you, What is that conversation like with a player like Tobey, whose aggressive play and, and what he's able to do for you off the bench is obviously so important. He did have foul trouble well, the other night, the kind of give and take of him playing the way that he does, but also trying to avoid those fouls that can keep him from having the minutes you want him to have. The, the fouls that he's got to avoid, he's got, it, it's the ones where – uh, normally on an offensive rebound where he, you know, he, he's just got an, a great innate ability to pursue the basketball. And uh, like I could have said the other night, you know, based on rule, you know, when you, somebody blocks you out, if they don't jump and you go over their back, it's, you know, it's really shouldn't be a foul on him. And if a guy's back and underneath it, he's supposed to jump. And, uh, but those are the ones that Tobey, because he, like, when I, you know, he, when I took him out, he said to me, he said, Coach, please let me go back in the game in the first half. And uh, I told him, I said, okay, I'm going to push him, but you cannot foul. And, uh, but he couldn't help himself because that's who he is. And I knew it, putting him back in. But, you know, a lot of the numbers out there, too, suggest that, you know, when a guy gets too foul, you should play, you can still play him. But depending on who it is, sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But uh, he's a guy that, you know, he went in and made an impact while he was in there, but I probably should have got him out every minute, minute and a half so he doesn't get so wound up in the game where he forgets that he's playing with two fouls. Coach, one thing that really stood out to me is 
normally when you are about to be in a one-on-one situation, you want to get the ball to your best free throw shooters by per, per, by percentage. Uh, but Jonas got the ball, and Jonas has been 60% or so, but he gets to the free throw line, nails it, barely hits the rim, and you guys shot the ball really well from the free throw line. Well, that's another thing I can't, I can't tell you. Uh, you know what? I, I kid Tony White. While I was an assistant coach at the University of Alabama, I came up to Nashville and scouted Tennessee and Vanderbilt back. Tony was leading the nation in three in free throw percentage. He was like 92, 93%. They fouled him three times. One Back then it was all one and one, and he missed the front end of all three of them. And I kid him about it because he had had 40 that night if he had made those free throws. And, uh, you know, Jonas, the dude, believe me, can shoot the ball. Uh, Santi can. I mean, there's, there, it's so much more difficult when the, when, when the game – and those things you can't assimilate. We can shoot all the free throws we want in practice and try to do it. But, you know, they're out there. They're, they're still young to the game. And whether you, people think that or not, being in, in the pressure situations there, there's a lot of people, if you took them off the street and put them in that game, they'd shoot an air ball, miss about 15 feet, wouldn't even leave their hand. And so as much as we want them to go up there and make it, uh, it's not as easy as everybody thinks for some guys. And uh, But, yeah, you're right about wanting to get the best shooters there. But like I said, sometimes you get your best shooters there, and they, they still don't make them. Uh, but um, that's why it's a game, and that's why it's, it's, a, it's a more difficult game to play than people think. Hey, last thing, we'll get you out of here. Swain makes fun of me. I'm going to need so much coffee for the, the late tip. You have the, the last game on Friday. But as a team, is anything different in how you get ready for a game that's scheduled to go a little after 10 Eastern? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll do. We'll, we'll try to break the day up as much so we're, we're not just, I mean, as you guys know, I mean, nothing's worse than sitting around in a hotel all day long uh, after you've been doing it for three, three and a half months. And so we'll try to break the day up with, you know, our breakfast, our shoot around in uh, our, you know, pregame meal, everything. But we'll once we get to our back, work it back from the game time, that, that we, will, we will keep the way we normally keep it, uh, obviously. And then, uh, but it's the day we'll, we'll try to break it up as, as much as we can. Just, again, so we don't lay around all day long because the players don't want to do that either. Sure. Rick Barnes, Tennessee head basketball coach, getting ready for Creighton on Friday night. Congrats on what you guys have accomplished to this point. Good luck as you get ready for the game later this week, and thanks so much for taking time to talk to us today. Thanks for having me. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes right here on Josh and Swain. We appreciate his time. We will react. We'll continue the conversation as Tennessee gets ready for the third round game. Sweet 16 game against Creighton on Friday. We want to hear from you as well. What do you think about the game? What you're looking for from the Vols later this week? Join us at 865-656-9900. You can call or text in to the same number. 865-656-9900 as we continue on Josh and Swain. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the Sports Animal. The Lady Vols fell to NC State 79-72 to in the second round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Rakia Jackson had a game-high 33 points for Tennessee, which finishes its season at 20-13. and Fifth-ranked Tennessee baseball is set to face off against in-state opponent Tennessee Tech tonight at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. The Vols lead the all-time series 72-32-1, but have a 47-13 advantage when playing in Knoxville. First pitch tonight is at 6 o'clock. You can catch the game right here on the Sports Animal. NBA games on your Tuesday night at 7.30. The Heat host the Warriors. The Lakers visit the Bucks at 8 o'clock. The Pelicans take on the Thunder and the Mavericks visit the Kings at 10. And the Nashville Predators put their franchise record 17 game point streak on the line tonight against the Vegas Golden Knights in Nashville. Puck drop is at 8 o'clock. I'm Joel Silverberg. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Wilson Brothers Plumbing. It's a local company. They have helped people right here in East Tennessee with plumbing issues. They can help you at your home. They can help your business. They can help you with new construction projects. And Wilson Brothers Plumbing has continued to grow as a company because of the great work that they've done, the customer service that they offer. They're committed to training the next generation of skilled plumbers as well. So they are building into the future for how they can help people right here in East Tennessee. 
we have relied on Wilson Brothers Plumbing at my home. I have told friends and family and coworkers, hey, get in touch with Wilson Brothers Plumbing when they've needed help. You can call Wilson Brothers Plumbing for any size project, residential, commercial, new construction, at 865-415-1537. Again, 865-415-1537. Google the name Wilson Brothers Plumbing. You'll see five-star reviews across the board. You can find them online at wilsonbrothersplumbing.com. Wilson Brothers, the proof is in the plumbing. This has been a big announcement. Hey, Knoxville, starting May 9th, you can fly nonstop to New Haven, Connecticut with Avello Airlines. With Avello, you can say goodbye to layovers and hello to hassle-free travel with everyday low fares, reliable service, and no change or cancel fees. Book your trip today at AvelloAir.com and get ready to say hello to Avello. That's A-V-E-L-O-A-I-R.com. Dogs, Knoxville's oldest privately owned UT fan shop is your one-stop shop for any big orange fan. Hound Dogs has all your Vol swag from head to toe, from the backyard to the man cave. New stock items come in every day and items for your little Vol fans. Hound Dogs is located on Cedar Bluff at Kingston Pike or online at hdknoxville.com. Join their VIP club and get info on exclusive specials and events. Get your orange on at Hound Dogs. Do you have stuff that you need gone? Then give a buzz to Junk Be Gone. Created right here in Knoxville, Junk Be Gone has been the number one junk removal company in East Tennessee for the past 16 years. Full service junk removal, 15 yard driveway dumpsters, document shredding, and demolition. They can remove above ground pools, pool tables, hot tubs, swing sets, fences, pianos, home and office furniture, even televisions, and the kitchen sink. Give them a buzz at 865-675-5865 or on the web at Junk Be Gone. Hey, this is Chef David Rule. Looking for a barbecue experience like no other? Head on down to Trotter's Barbecue in the heart of historic downtown Sevierville. At Trotter's, we're all about the whole hog. We're talking about slow smoke perfection that's packed with flavor. It's authentic Smoky Mountain barbecue made with locally raised hogs. Open seven days a week from 11 to 8 in historic downtown Sevierville. Check us out at trottersbbq.com to see our mouth-watering menu. Catering at the Go Packs available? Trotter's Whole Hog Barbecue. A taste of the Smoky Mountains in every bite. Curveball is the original barbecue whiskey. And if you're from the South, then you have an insatiable appetite for barbecue. And the original Curveball whiskey is now available to satisfy your appetite. They put the barbecue behind the bar. Savory, sweet, smoky, heat meets American whiskey. Giving barbecue a shot with Curveball, the original barbecue whiskey. Shoot it, mix it, or straight out of the bottle like barbecue sauce. Enjoy barbecue Bloody Mary, barbecue old-fashioned. The possibilities are endless. Ask for Curveball at your favorite retailer. Paid for by Athens Distributor. <laughs> Join the Eric Age Show this Wednesday, 9 to noon at AgPro in Farragut to celebrate Pro Day. Free gifts, free food, and the best prices of the year. That's Pro Day. See you this Wednesday at AgPro in Farragut, 13131 Kingston Pike, with 99.1 The Sports Animal. Hi, it's me, Tracy King, at Your Home Sold Guarantee Realty. Text your address to me at 505-7455, and you'll receive your home's highest cash offers in seconds. Text your address to me at 505-7455 and start packing. This report is brought to you by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. We're going to see that rain continuing as we head over the next really several hours. We're going to start to see it lighten up and push out of here by the time we get a little bit later this afternoon, mainly towards the evening hours, highs into about the lower 60s. We're dropping into the upper 40s overnight. A few showers linger early Wednesday morning. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Rebuild your family, regain your freedom, renew your life. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. The hottest sports stories of the day broken down to their very core with honest, informed opinions. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal.
Back on Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. Thanks again to Rick Barnes for joining us last segment. Ron Slay will join us for a full hour coming up from 1 until 2 on the Slay Ride. Thanks to Native Design. Thank you for being here as we invite you to join us as well. 865-656-9900. Uh, we'll react to some of the conversation last segment. Tennessee Creighton, you want to talk about Tennessee's defense? Yep. We did have a few questions I want to answer because it's still pretty close to when we were talking about it. Uh, one, the hip drop tackle as best you can in a audio form. Can you describe the hip drop tackle, what exactly what we're talking about with the, the rule change, the NFL, the NFL outlawing that? So it's when you basically wrap around the ball carrier's waist and then you just drop your weight to the ground as quick as possible. And what happens is the ball carrier, usually their legs collapse. And so we're talking ankle injuries, we're talking knees, uh, but that quick shift of weight down sometimes leads to a ball carrier getting hurt. Now, I do want to correct uh, one text. With all due respect, it's kind of a defense of you and me and others. We have to change the game so that millennials can play it. I'm afraid that we're at a point that the millennials are retiring. We're the millennials. Millennials are now in their 40s or approaching who, their 40s. Who changed the rules? <laughs> Who, who are the ones that are changing the rules? It's the old fossils that's changing the rules. Yeah, they're the ones changing it for – I'm just – part of it's a defense of the millennials. The millennial generation's old now, okay? So yeah. we're, we're on to, to Gen Z and I guess younger even uh, that will be playing. But uh, complaints about the rule changes came into the text box quickly from our first segment discussion. We'll see how it plays out, but I just – I feel bad for the, for the defenders. I mean, you grab someone – how are you going to get them to the ground? You have to fall to make them fall. You can't just hit them. They lift weights. They're strong. You have to use your body weight to get them to the ground. So, <laughs> I mean, you can't take that out of the game. But that's what they've done. They have. So we'll see how it changes things because it, at some point in, in certain plays will create hesitation on a defender's part of what am I supposed to do here? It'll be in their head of how do I make this tackle? And we're talking about that when it's full speed. You don't have time to make that decision. Yeah, you'll um, you'll probably allow the ball carrier to pick up more yards after contact. Basically drag a dude into the end zone. Now, depending on the situation, hey, man, you, you just got to do what you got to do, get him down and put the call in the referee's hands and say, all right, we dare you to make this call and it's fourth down, fourth quarter in the freaking playoffs. I got to make this tackle. Like, you, you got to go make it. But I'm not a fan of the call. I, I'm an offensive guy. I think at the end of the day, you got to make it fair. And there's too many rules in place for the offense anyways. And this is just too much. Look, look at the NBA. Like, the NBA put so many rules in place to generate – points and excitement and entertainment but they went too far and they were backtracking now. because there's no defense mm -hmm. and so now they're trying to fix it and allow more defense because that's that's part of sports there's offense there's defense and it's, you want to make it fair as possible while also understanding the importance of entertaining uh your consumer base Big Rob texted in from our conversation last segment with Rick Barnes that if coaches can teach Tobe Awaka to play defense without getting into foul trouble, he can be a 15 to 20 points, 10 rebounds a game player next year. He's a beast, a defensive end playing basketball. I think a lot of people have seen the upside. We've already seen the impact he's making. Tobe makes a big impact on what Tennessee does. If he can avoid foul trouble, get more minutes, the progress he made from his freshman season to his sophomore next year yeah he can go to an even higher level right now though he's making an impact they need him on the floor what animal does toby awaka remind you of first animal that comes to mind how does he play his mentality what animal comes to mind lion that lion's good that lion's good i mean i, I like kai's got some line i don't know if two they, players can be but they both they both they both in the same from the same group of lines i guess uh, I, I like that, but I was going to say dog. Okay. He's a dog. He, okay. We would uh, classify him as a dog. And if I throw a ball, does a dog care about anything else besides that ball? That's the sole focus. No. 
ball, squirrel. They care nothing about a car. They care nothing about rain. They care nothing about anything. That's Toby. That's Toby. Like, when he sees that ball, he don't care if he's blocked out. He don't care if there's three officials right there next to him. (laughs) He don't care about having two fouls. He don't care that he just told Rick Barnes, please let me in the game. I promise you I won't get another foul. He forgot about that already. Rick Barnes said he he couldn't help himself. (laughs) All he knows is that ball is right there, and I can get it. (laughs) I got to get that ball. I got to get it. And so if we can just – and this comes with experience, and 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 you know, he's gonna he's gonna understand like, all right, that's not worth it. That ball is not worth me picking up a third foul, putting the other team at the free throw line. I'll get the next one when I'm in better position, or I'll make sure that I'm in better position so I can go get that ball. But right now, Toby's a pit bull. He's German Shepherd. He's a Doberman. All he sees is ball. I gotta get ball. Nothing else matters. Multiple texts say either grizzly bear or bear for Toby. I don't know if grizzly bears play with balls. I mean, I haven't been to the circus in a long time, but I, I use dog because dogs like balls. Zakai is a cheetah. You go lion or cheetah for Zakai? I was, I was going to go lion. Okay. Heart of a lion. Because he's trying to literally eat you. Like, you are the ball handler. He is trying to eat you. Like, he, when he smells fear, he gets the greatest joy from that. He loves that. So, I would I would go lion. Now, he runs like a cheetah. That's true. But he has a heart of a lion. What would you say for me? <laughs> uh, Pomeranian. <laughs> or uh, Chihuahua, like the one from the... Uh, commercials or, or no you know what you know what you're the geico the, you, yeah you you him the guy the geico commercials what's that animal the 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 what's that the what's lizard the, the lizard that's you man really smart okay you're a really smart guy calculated and uh i don't know if you're left-handed but like you're a smart dude well, i'm sticking him really i don't know smart. how to i don't know how to feel i appreciate that i, I don't know how to feel about the uh, the ge- gecko gecko yeah gecko, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's uh, of that. but I like that better than Pomeranian <laughs> or Chihuahua. With all due respect to those, I'm sorry, man. To those breeds, I, I'm sorry. I, I I I can't sit here with a straight face and say that you're a Rockwaller. If that's what you was looking that's for, that's okay. Yeah, or um, a pit bull, or like a Great Dane. I just I sorry, Josh. I can't I can't lie. Don't ask a question. If you're not ready for the answer, and you provided it. Well, German Shepherds are really smart, really yeah. really dependable, and mm-hmm. you are dependable. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I can always depend on Swain to be honest, as you can as well right here on the show. 865-656-9900. So, Tobe, an important player. Tennessee's defense, an important factor against the Creighton offense that can score. We'll talk about what Tennessee does against Creighton coming up next and with Ron Slay when he joins us to begin the 1 o'clock hour. All right here on Josh and Swain. If there's intelligent life out there somewhere, they're streaming 99.1 The Sports Animal. Guaranteed. It is Happy's Golden Ticket Sweepstakes at Hiller. What does that mean? Just go to the website, HillerGoldenTicket.com, and when you enter your email, you're going to be automatically entered to win big prizes that include a $5,000 Hila gift card, a $1,000 Hila gift card, or one of 10 Happy Hiller Club memberships, or take advantage of zero interest financing for 48 months on select new HVAC systems or 36 months on tankless water heaters and whole home generators. Do not miss out. Enter to win now. Go to the website. That's HillerGoldenTicket.com. This has been a big announcement. Spring fever is in the air, and that means a lot of people are going to be getting engaged this time of year. If you're going to be one of them, you got to talk to my guy, T.K. Wheeler, out at T.K. Wheeler Jewelers first. 
Hey, this is Heather. TK has been in business for over 40 years in the Oak Ridge community. And that means he knows what to keep in his store because he knows what she's going to love. It doesn't matter if you're just looking for a just because gift or a special occasion gift or you're thinking about popping that big question and you need that perfect ring. The destination always the same. TK Wheeler Jewelers. He'll sit down with you himself and teach you how to buy a diamond. Yeah, what do all those C's mean? What are certifications? Different things like that. And then really get a dial on what your fiance's taste is. Is she a diamond halo engagement ring gal? Does she love the diamond eternity band? Or what about the classic diamond solitaire? When you need the perfect ring, you need the perfect jewelry store. TK Wheeler Jewelers. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 dollars off every window and seven hundred seventy seven dollars off every door when you buy four or more units just text old to 200 300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down no monthly payments and no interest for a year that's right you don't pay a dime for an entire year text old to 200 300 to save 377 dollars off every window and 777 dollars off every door when you buy four or more units hurry this incredible 31 day sales offer is only in march text old to 200 300 text the word old to 200 300 old to 200 300 Vol fans, this is VFL Chris Brown at Harper Volkswagen. We're excited to offer 0% financing on the 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan SUV and rates as low as 1.9% on the made in Tennessee 2024 Volkswagen Atlas. Remember, Harper Auto Square is a proud partner of Tennessee Athletics and the number one spot for Vol fans. Come see us and check out our extensive selection of new and pre-owned Volkswagens at Harper Volkswagen, 9901 Kingston Pike, or online at harpervw.com. Go Vols! Bird Kreischer presents Tops Off World Tour. I look at my dad, I go, hey dad, maybe we should sit down. I don't think your owl's out tonight. 30 seconds later, woo, right on top of it, we hear, woo. My oldest daughter goes, dad, look across the lake at the old man on his dock. There's another drunk, blind, old white man just, woo. Bird Kreischer, live on stage at Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center, Saturday, April 6th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. I'm Chelsea Messenger, helping you beat the books with Beck QL. The NIT rolls on tonight with an SEC Big Ten matchup in Columbus. Georgia visits Ohio State in the quarterfinals of the NIT tonight. And while the Buckeyes are the favorite, the Beck QL model is leaning towards a play on the total. Tonight's Beck QL five-star best bet is to grab the over between Georgia and Ohio Ohio State in their NIT matchup. I'm Chelsea Messenger. Bet smarter and beat the books with BetQL and download the BetMGM app today. For more than half a century, contractors and trade professionals have relied on WeatherGuard for heavy-duty truck and van storage equipment, not just to protect their valuable tools, but to protect their professional reputations. For pros, the WeatherGuard badge makes a statement about what drives them. It says, bring it on. Been there. Done that. We've got your back without saying a word. And the folks at WeatherGuard, they're just as driven as the hardworking pros they serve. See what it means to be driven at WeatherGuard.com. From the Budweiser Studios of The Sports Animal, we are 99.1 The Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Josh and Swain. Text in 865-656-9900. Scott says that Josh is definitely a platypus. (laughs) Chris suggested ferret. I don't know why you uh, set yourself up for that one. Well, that's what Chan said. I have myself to blame. Yeah. Hey, what... What kind of animal do you see me as? Uh, you sure? You sure you want the answer? Yep. Uh, King Kong was a suggestion for Tobey. Mike says, I love that dude, and he scares me. 
And we were asked, what about Swain? What animal are you? I don't know if it's partly because it Leo. came. What's that? My birthday is July 27th. I'm a Leo, so, you know. How does that affect what animal you are? Uh, I'm a lion, dude. It's just, that's what Leos are. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, it's documented. Okay. Well, then. I, 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 didn't, I didn't create the document. Okay. All I did was save it. Okay. Open it, save as. <laughs> I didn't create it. File away for another day. That's it. Well, then, there we go. It's settled on Swain. He's, he's a lion, and I'm either a gecko, platypus, or ferret. We'll no, you're a gecko because you're decide. smart. Like, okay. Like, like, like I'm good with that. I will take gecko over the other suggestions that are coming in the text box. 865-656-9900. Uh, Creighton, good basketball team. Talented players. I saw uh, this morning maybe Baylor Shireman. Six seven wing who's really good for Creighton. He he is the single season high school football record holder in Nebraska for touchdown passes and passing yards in a season. He was a big time multi sport athlete, long wing player who's really good. So defending him, keeping him from getting going, we've said it before, we'll repeat it, I'm sure. They kind of have a big three of Trey Alexander, Baylor Shireman, and uh Kalkbrenner, their 7-1 center, and that'll be a lot of the focus. They have other good players as well. Ashworth, who came in as a transfer, was first team all Mountain West a year ago, but uh, keeping their big three in check will be a big part of what Tennessee's trying to do. Yeah, that um, that battle between Ashworth and Zakai is going to be fun. Uh, two point cars duking it out, and then you know the, the two guard um, battle. You know, there with uh, Trey Alexander. Uh, and then uh, Shireman looks like Don Connect's going to be on him. And Connect's going to have to have his best defensive effort of, of the season. And um, the reason why you came to Tennessee is you wanted to improve defensively. Well, Don Connect's going to be challenged. And uh, to go up against one of the best players, best shooters in the country, he's an All American himself. And if you are, if you are Creighton, you're looking at Don Connect. I hate to say this, but you're kind of looking at him, at him as food. Like, hey, we can go at Don Connect. We, we we can do maybe what Texas A&M was able to do, run him off some screens, get him tired. Uh, that's going to affect him offensively. And if we can get him in foul trouble, that certainly helps us out too because they're losing a big-time score. So uh, Don Connect versus uh, Shireman is going to be it's going to be a really good battle. You look at the, the size of them. Those two guys, Shireman is 6'7", Don Connect 6'6", 6'6", 6'7", himself. So that seems to be a um, likely battle between those two. Yeah, I'm sure Shireman's saying, hey, he's a lottery pick. I want to go prove myself because NBA teams would be interested. In Sam Vecini's latest mock draft he put out a week ago for the Athletic, the one where he had, I think, Dalton going to the Chicago Bulls at pick number 12 in the projection. Uh, picks are to be decided. He has Trey Alexander as the second pick of the second round, so a fringe first rounder, second rounder, and then Bay- Baylor Shireman going 37th. So two guys in the top part of the second round that will be starting there at guard and on the wing for Creighton. Yeah, hell, hell of a challenge for Tennessee, for sure. But I, I like I like the depth that that we have, and we'll talk to Ron Slay about this. I'll throw this out here uh, now, and um, we'll ask Ron about it when he gets on with us. But the fact that they have seven guys. That's the short bench. We have extended our defense to full court. When the first pass comes in, everyone gets back and we play, you know, zone, you know, that's zone, but a half court man to man. Are we pressing more? Are we extending more full court knowing that we have more bodies, especially at guard? Like we don't have a ton of depth in the trenches with our big men, but we have a ton of guards that can play full court. Do you play full court more to try to get Ashworth tired, to try to get you know Shireman and Alexander tired because they do have a short bench of about seven guys. We'll talk matchups, what Tennessee needs to do against Creighton on Friday when we come back for a full hour on the sleigh ride with VFL Ron Slay on Josh and Swain. Swimsuit bodies, they're built right now. And if you need help getting started or leveling up, then you need to check out Ford Sanders Health and Fitness Center. 
Hey, this is Heather. I can tell you from personal experience, whether you're a total newbie to working out or you want to take your great fitness routine to the next level, you can get great results at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Pro tip, take advantage of the free health assessment and track your progress. It keeps you motivated, and I said, it's free. They've got 85 group fitness classes each week, a full weight room with free weights, dumbbells, kettlebells, and machines, and every piece of cardio equipment under the sun. They also have the indoor pool that's open all year round, basketball, racquetball, pickleball, and tennis courts. Everything you need to get in shape is at Ford Sanders Health and Fitness Center, and all memberships are month to month with no long-term contracts. And free childcare comes with a family membership. You can call them today at 531-5000 or find them online at fshfc.com. Hey, Knoxville. Starting May 9th, you can fly nonstop to New Haven, Connecticut with Avello Airlines. With Avello, you can say goodbye to layovers and hello to hassle-free travel with everyday low fares, reliable service, and no change or cancel fees. Book your trip today at AvelloAir.com and get ready to say hello to Avello. That's A-V-E-L-O-A-I-R.com. Fairways and Greens is up their game and now offers TrackMan technology with their indoor simulators and outdoor TrackMan range. Get your practice feedback by using TrackMan's radar technology, providing up to 26 data points and taking your game from good to great. Capture and view tour level ball data, play top ranked virtual courses, or have a blast playing interactive games. The ultimate range experience is at Fairways and Greens. Visit today or go online at fairwaysandgreens.com. Spring is here, and that means it's time to break out the clubs and play some golf. Wednesday, April 3rd at 9 a.m., go to 991thesportsanimal.com for the 2024 East Tennessee Golf Card presented by Mark Nelson Golf Apparel. Join the Eric Age Show this Wednesday, 9 to noon at AgPro in Farragut to celebrate Pro Day. Free gifts, free food, and the best prices of the year. That's Pro Day. See you this Wednesday at AgPro in Farragut, 13131 Kingston Pike with 99.1 The Sports Animal. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Progressive makes bundling easy and affordable. Get a multi-policy discount by combining your motorcycle, RV, boat, ATV, and more. All your protection in one place. Bundle and save at Progressive.com. Got a small business that no one's heard of except your grandma? Time for a boost. From Cumulus Boost, the affordable way to boost local search engine optimization and help manage reviews. Cumulus Boost helps local businesses improve their online presence so they're not buried by bigger companies and local searches. Get found, get on the map, and get a boost with Cumulus Boost at CumulusBoost.com. That's C-U-M-U-L-U-S Boost.com. Vol Baseball is back on 99.1 The Sports Animal. And Ted Russell Ford want to give you a chance to win a porch for you and your crew to watch a Vols game this season. Check out 991thesportsanimal.com and get signed up. And you can be cheering on the Vols from the outfield while enjoying this unique fan experience with you and your friends. So batter up, good luck, and go Vols. From Ted Russell Ford and 99.1 The Sports Animal. Hi, it's me, Tracy King, at Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Text your address to me at 505-7455, and you'll receive your home's highest cash offers in seconds. Text your address to me at 505-7455 and start packing. This is WNML AM Knoxville. WNML FM Friendsville. Streaming worldwide on the Sports Animal app and website, 991thesportsanimal.com. 99.1 The Sports Animal, the station where the balls play. This is Andrew Perloff with a CBS Sports Minute sponsored by LL Flooring. LL Flooring, every step covered. The NFL announced yesterday that it's banning the swivel hip drop tackle. Okay, as if the rule book wasn't confusing enough. It's not an obvious call, and the officials will have to figure it out in real time. It's going to be a mess. Fans will complain. That's true about all safety rules. But the offense benefits and ratings stay high, so owners just don't care. I'm Andrew Perloff. At LL Flooring, we've been a trusted partner to pros for over 30 years. With over 400 nationwide warehouses full of in-stock, job-ready inventory, you'll get what you need. And our exclusive pro pricing means that pros never pay retail. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. So we're going to do it right. 
Sign up for a free pro account today to start getting pro benefits. LL Flooring, every step covered. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with an app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order in the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamper or March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem at Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. East Tennessee's number one family law and divorce attorney group. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group to help your family in their hardest times. 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Josh and Swain, we begin hour number two with two hours to go. Thank you for hanging out with us at Josh and Swain on social media, online, 991thesportsanimal.com. We also say hello to everybody listening in the Tri-Cities area on AM640, the Sports Monster. Last hour, we talked to Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes and encourage you to go back and listen to that interview wherever you get your podcast if you missed it. And in just a moment, we'll talk to Ron Slay. The Slay Ride will get underway in just a moment every week thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery. NativeTN.com is the website to check out. And with Native Design, for contractors, landscapers, it can be your one-stop shop for plants, trees, and landscaping materials. That includes boulders, flagstone, mulch, and more. Call 865-310-3256. For native design with the native nursery. So let's hop on. This is going to be a fast and busy, action packed hour. As we say hello to Ron Slay, VFL, Tennessee and SEC basketball legend. Ron, good afternoon. Sweet 16 time is here. It is, man. It's a sweet, sweet time of the year. You got to love this, man. Especially, you know. Getting here in the fashion that you got here, you you, you had a blowout win, and then you had a, a a tight win, and everybody had to had to have all hands inside the pot, all the BVS that set in on people. It did not waver the team at all, man. They were they were stoic in every in every scene um, throughout that game against Texas, man. And I, hey, I'm just happy to say horns down. Ron, you, you know Coach Barnes would not approve of that. Oh, yeah. Good good thing I don't play for Coach Barnes. I could care less. <laughs> Horns down. Horns down, Ron Slay. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Man, the lack of sportsmanship on the Slay ride today here on Josh and Swain is, oh, uh, yeah. is yes. fully expected. Fully expected. So, uh, Tennessee is now on to the Sweet 16, and, and we'll dive into the matchup and, and everything. I do think it's worth repeating. This is such a difficult spot to get to. Yesterday we mentioned the fact that three of the last five national champs in, in the NCAA tournament run, they won the title and the other four seasons haven't made it to the Sweet 16, Kansas, yeah. Baylor, and Virginia. So they've made it all the way once, and the other four times couldn't win two games. It's very difficult and for Tennessee to be back in the Sweet 16 going for its second ever Elite Eight appearance is a pretty special thing. It is, man. You look at it, it, all it takes in this tournament is for one team to get hot or you to make a bunch of mistakes and stay cold and not be able to adjust on the fly, have different guys that don't, don't, um, that don't step up, the, the panic sets in, whatever it is, man. A lot of things can work against you walking into these neutral site games. Um, I think we were fortunate to be in the Charlotte bracket, you know, and after Michigan State, um, was ousted by North Carolina. A lot of North Carolina fans were sitting there cheering for the Tennessee fans. So that was, that was pretty cool to see. Um, it, it's funny, man. Every 
every um round that you advance to, man, the the stakes get higher and the intensity picks up and you got to be able to live and hold true to that moment. And and we did. The Vols did, man. Ron, tell me about what you think about my defensive strategy playing against a team in Creighton that really short bench, rotation of about seven players. You look at Tennessee's depth, especially at the guard position. We saw that play out versus Texas where Jordan Ganey was able to come in, uh, do a great job defensively. Santiago Vescovi, Zakai Ziegler, uh, you got Jamal Meshack. Like we, we, we're we deep there when it comes to defenders at the guard position. What do you think about a wrinkle of playing more full court to try to see if you can affect the Creighton guards who – they don't have a lot of backups because they they do have a seven man rotation. We think about that. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm all on board with that, Swain. I think you got to do it um, under control, though. I think you got to have a a mindset of we're not going out there to pressure to get steals. It's more so to wear a team down and let our depth come into play and make them have to get into their depth. So if that's the now we accept, you know, you getting turnovers and live ball turnovers, creating easy baskets. That's without question, um, something that you want. But a team like Creighton that that depends on shooting threes and you're able to take their legs from them by pressuring, you know, they just had overtime games that they had to go through. So at some point, it starts to set in. I know we have a break between that game and this game, but still, though, man, that's, that's a lot of wear and tear on the body throughout the entire season. And if that depth doesn't remain true and you don't tap into it, you can be in trouble. So I would love to be able to expose that, have guys put them in pressure situations, and also, man, may, really making them defend by pushing pace as well to make them have to keep up um, and, and you know, be in scramble situations where they have to exert a lot of energy and maybe pick up some cheap files here and there, and then you have to climb into that bench and see what they have. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for that, man. I'm for speeding the game up and, you know, trying to create – some chaos in a sense, but you got to be smart about it because they will make you pay. Ron Slay with us, VFL SEC network analyst on the radio each afternoon on 3HL on the zone in Nashville as well. Ron Dalton connect in Tennessee's offense. Part of part of what Dalton's able to do is going to change the potential of what Tennessee is offensively in general, right? He's not shot great recently did against St. Peter's, but against higher level competition, the shot's not fallen as often recently, including this past Saturday. What do you make of that? How does that affect maybe what Tennessee is trying to do against a Creighton defense that has been really effective in making teams take tougher shots, less efficient shots this season? Yeah, I think DK, man, just continue to be himself. Um, I, I think everything plays out the way it's supposed to. Um, if it was one wrinkle that I would throw at him, it would be, man, I would love to see him get to his mid-range spot without playing to his mid-range spot, if that makes sense. More like um, he does a great job as far as getting all the way to the cup, finishing in traffic, or pulling up off the dribble into the three-pointer. That um, mid-range game, I think that's that's how he can alleviate um, a lot of this pressure and physicality that these guys are playing with. Um, some hard drives, stop on a dime, pull up, because he extends and raises up over guys. I think he could get to that. A lot of times when we see him in the mid-range is a lot of time he'll come off a curl or, you know, I mean, him walking somebody down, posting up one or two dribbles and then trying to turn around and shoot. I think, man, that's the way you alleviate, get those guys up off of you and be able to um, disconnect as far as that physical contact, being able to drive hard, one, two dribbles, stop on the time, raise up and square up and let it fly. I think that'll be – That'll be big time for them, and it'll throw defenses off. I think they they are known and they want to run them off the three point line from standstill shooting, and if getting all the way to the rim, make sure to meet them with some contact. Um, and you know, I think if you if you if you're watching the game, that'll be a good way to get some of that good, and also be able to get a nice little rhythm too, being able to shoot that little 15, 16 footer. Um, I think that'll be cool too, and it'll catch people off guard. But I, I think he's fine though as well. I think it's just. It's rhythm, getting to getting to your shots, continue shooting, not second guess, don't think about it, continue playing the way you are. The reason we're here is because you're playing the way you are, and sometimes the best offense is putting that ball on the rim and having guys crash like Josiah, Adu, Tobe, Meshack, Ganey in situations. Like, it's, that plays the difference. 
it seems like, Ron, that uh, this game for Don Connect is going to be uh, a big challenge for him defensively when you look at uh, Shireman and, and problems that he can cause you a, as a defender. Do you feel like this is one of uh, Don Connect's biggest challenges defensively? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And I, I think um, he, ought to, he, ought, he ought to be able to use his, his – pay attention to a scouting report first and foremost. Mm-hmm. And then he ought to be able to use his athleticism to recover in situations where he doesn't have to put himself – out of um, in harm's way as far as trying to belly up. And, you know, it, they know how to create space and they know how to eat up space. Um, you're playing against some heady guards when you're playing against Creighton and their system allows them to play that way. So you just got to, man, play basketball. I, I, I'm i looking at it, man, at the situation. Once you get to this, there's 16 teams remaining, and it's not like they're they going to come at you in waves. They're coming at you in one way, and that's the way they are. <laughs> so if you – you just got to be ready to go, man. It's, it's right now you got to go out there and hoop. It's mano y mano, and at some point, all the X's and O's is great. You know what I mean? But dude, stop your man. And I'm not saying you got to stop him every single time. Just make it a contested shot. We don't want to give up any freebies once you get to this point because everybody can make you pay. So whatever he has, whoever he's guarding, whoever he's trying to defend, man, just keep him in front. Don't give up anything cheap. Um, and, and play straight up in base defense. He'd be fine, man. Ron Slay, we are on the sleigh ride right now. We will be for the entire hour, thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery. NativeTN.com is the website. Tennessee getting ready for the Sweet 16. What this round, this second weekend, is all about as the Vols try to get to the Elite Eight, and then, of course, beyond that, the Final Four, we will discuss coming up. Ron Slay with us the entire hour, thanks to Native Design on Josh and Swain. Sports Animal Stream now has streaming only giveaways. Listen daily to the Sports Animal Stream for keywords to text in for a chance to win. Elevate your products today with Native Nursery. Landscapers, we're your one stop destination offering quality wholesale plants, trees, and landscaping materials. We'll even take your leaves and hardscape waste for a low flat rate. If you're a contractor or landscaper, make Native Nursery your go to location today. Call or come by and see Ben and Ted. <laughs> Eight six five three one five zero one two three and thirty four seventy three Louisville Road. Five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Stop by the Eric Ains Show broadcast at Food City this Thursday when Eric and Brian are on location at Food City, 9565 Middlebrook Pike near the Ball Camp Road intersection. Nobody does food like Food City, the official supermarket of UT Athletics. 99.1, the Sports Animal with Josh and Swain goes live this Thursday from 12 till 3 at the all-new Ted Russell Ford Lincoln on Kingston Pike. Experience an aura of luxury from the moment you pull into the parking lot. Ted Russell Ford Lincoln, elevating the customer experience to effortless. Johnson, I've been hearing about this internet thing. Anything to it? Yeah, boss. We had Cumulus Digital design and run our website. Will an internet help our sales? Already has. Plus, Cumulus Digital helps us rank high on search engines. Whoa, one thing at a time, Johnson. CumulusDigital.com Need a new roof? You need Mo Shingles. Need new siding? You need Mo Shingles. Mo Shingles, locally owned and operated with an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating and over 100 five-star reviews. Free estimates, moshingles.com, 770-0506. For over 100 years, Marvin has been helping contractors and homeowners bring their building projects to life. Marvin Windows and Doors will inspire you to create with confidence, value, and distinction. When you choose expertly crafted Marvin products from Hiwassee Window, you have the support you need to make every window and door project a success. Let their professional sales staff, with over 90 years combined experience, help you choose the right product. Find your Marvin Windows and Doors today at Hiwassee Window, 865-675-3690, just off Level Road. Discover the future of golf with TrackMan Range exclusively at Fairways and Greens Golf Center. Fine-tune your game with radar ball tracking accuracy and data feedback. TrackMan Range offers something for everyone from all ages and all skill levels. It enables you to capture tour-level ball data, play top-ranked virtual courses worldwide, or just have a blast playing interactive games. Visit Fairways and Greens or go online at fairwaysandgreens.com. Become a member and see why TrackMan Range is the new practice made perfect. 
Cumulus Knoxville is proud to sponsor the 20th Annual Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon, Half Marathon, and Relay on Sunday, April 7th. For the youngsters, the Covenant Kids Run is April 6th at 5.30 p.m., followed by the Covenant Health 5K at 7 p.m. All events feature a fantastic finish line at Historic World's Fair Park. Online registration is still open for all events through April 2nd. Go to KnoxvilleMarathon.com to register today. That's KnoxvilleMarathon.com. We'll see you on April 7th. Hey, this is Chef David Rule. Looking for a barbecue experience like no other? Head on down to Trotter's Barbecue in the heart of historic downtown Sevierville. At Trotter's, we're all about the whole hog. We're talking about slow smoke perfection that's packed with flavor. It's authentic Smoky Mountain barbecue made with locally raised hogs. Open seven days a week from 11 to 8 in historic downtown Sevierville. Check us out at trottersbbq.com to see our mouth-watering menu. Catering at the Go Packs available? Trotter's Whole Hog Barbecue. A taste of the Smoky Mountains in every bite. Spring is here, and so are the allergies. With Lee Company's 80 years of trust and expertise, they're your allies against allergens. Their services include duct cleaning, crawl space encapsulation, and the magic of UV light air purifiers. At Lee Company, they believe every breath your family takes should be a breath of fresh air. Why wait for a healthier home? Start your spring right at LeeCompany.com. Lee Company, all you need. Josh and Sway on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. Thank you for being with us on Josh and Swain at Josh and Swain on social media. Thanks, everybody, who has connected with us so far. You can watch Ron Slade today as well. We're live on our YouTube channel on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Same with our Josh and Swain Twitter feed, so keep up with us there. And we'll talk Tennessee great, and we'll look at the overall field. Not the best opening weekend for the SEC, Ron, of course, covering what's going on around the league as well with two teams remaining. It's Tennessee, and then it's Alabama, and you never know, but we've not been overly optimistic about the Tide's chances, which I know is uh, tough for you to say out loud, but we both like UNC going into that weekend. We'll see what Ron thinks about that one. But Tennessee against Creighton, two versus three in the Midwest. And then if Tennessee's able to win on Friday night, that's the Vols plan going in, which team maybe should Tennessee hope to play on Sunday as the game before Tennessee Creighton is Gonzaga and Purdue. So VFL Ron Slay with us for the entire hour. It's the Slay Ride presented each week by Native Design, which we appreciate so much with the Native Nursery for contractors and landscapers. And Ron, when you go into this week, this is an experienced team. They're both actually experienced, both sides, Tennessee and Creighton. How is this week different from a, a mental standpoint with the stakes being raised, as you mentioned last segment, now you're playing for an Elite Eight spot and then trying to get to the Final Four. More people are watching on a bigger stage for you this weekend. Yeah, you you still you still have a, a dress rehearsal that you just went through um, the week before, and you got to keep that same mindset. Nothing's going on outside of your region, which would be the, the Detroit, um, like Coach Barnes said, Invitational. Um, what, what's going on there is all that matters. I think that's the way to kind of, you know, watch it and take it in. Um, the day in between, Never had to deal with that because we didn't get to make it past that part. But um, you you lock in on the team that will you'll be playing. It's only really that matters to you is four teams. Well, three other teams. That's all that really matters. You're not watching what's going on in the other brackets. None of that matters because you're getting so much attention yourself. It's almost overwhelming in that aspect that you don't have time to think about what's going on in the West region, any of that stuff. So um, you, you come into it and you focus on you. And you're going to have so much attention on you. You ain't got time to worry about anybody else anyway. So it's going to be good, man. It should be fun for these guys to go through this, um, especially knowing that they got to this spot last year without Zakai, and he ought to be excited to get back to this. And, you know, I would push all of it on him. <laughs> I was one of the players like, Zakai, you do all the talking, man. You you ain't, you ain't been here. You was as a uh, – um, as a as, 
a guy watching last time. Now you're you're a player, and so it's different. Yeah, Zakai's the last guy I worry about from a, a mental standpoint, how he's right. affected. And that is part of the storyline here. This time a year ago, he was watching his team play in the Sweet 16, and he couldn't be a part of it. And that, yep. yeah, it is impressive to me when you look back that they made that run without him, especially losing him so late in the season. But that had to be so difficult to watch them play in the Sweet 16, and he couldn't be there. And now we know what he's done since then in the last 12 months since he came back. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why that's why I'm shifting all the focus and energy to him. He can handle it. He gets to burn it off. You know he's going to play 40 minutes, uh, 35 at the minimum. Excuse me. As long as he's not in foul trouble. So he'll be fine. He can handle it. He's been dealing with it. Um, and this right here is easy. Like this, this, this is the easy part. All you got to do is continue to set guys up, take the, take the, um, the brute of all of the, the th- questions, the answers that are going to be thrown. You're spearheading this entire thing as a guy. Like you, you miss this, you want it. You get to alleviate some of the pressure from down connect. To me, it's more on Zakai than it is down connect, man. Like, we know what DK is, and he's going to continue to do it. But playing on both ends, the man, he's the, he's the, he's the, he's the body, man. <laughs> he's the head, the body, and Simone. What happened to the SEC, man, in the tournament? I mean, I was distraught to yeah. see the uh, win loss record for the SEC. From your point of view, what, what happened? Man, it's 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 one game. That I think that's what it is. When you talk about the strength of the conference and what it is, like I don't have them. I didn't have them being beat Auburn getting beat by Yale. I didn't have Kentucky getting beat by Oakland or none of that. And I don't think anybody else in the country did. <laughs> like Mm-mm. if you look at it, man, and you get Kentucky to play Oakland nine more times to make it ten, they beat them nine out of nine times. And there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And I think it's the same thing with Yale and Auburn. But that's the thing in the tournament, man. It's it only takes one mistake. One mistake. I think in Auburn's situation, Coach Mazzara went out with two offense tendencies. Much of these games could have seen emotional lift, things of that nature. Kentucky just not playing physical defense. We always talk about them scoring, but defense is something that needs to be good, man. They're going to have to come out and play. Hey, um, at some point in this tournament, and it didn't. You let a guy that only shoot threes shoot threes. Simple. So, I mean, you look at it along the entire SEC, Mississippi State, Texas A&M battled. Both of them battled. It's just – it just didn't get the job done. And this, I mean, there's no excuse to be made. Do I think that makes the conference any less? Not at all. I think it's still the strength as far as top to bottom. When you talk about eight teams getting in, nine teams could be 10 next year. I think all that, that stays the same. Um, I hear a lot of people talking about the ACC and Big East. They, they undefeated and all that. All that's cool. But also, you only got three teams representing. I mean, that's, that's your top heavy league. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. We'll see now. We'll see now where, where where the strength of the league lies when you have Alabama and Tennessee, if they can continue to advance. The, um, I think when you look at it, when you look at the um, the league, the way it's built up, you're not running anything, running into anything that you haven't seen before that's outside of your league. So none of it should be caught off guard. Now playing better, that's one thing. That's That's something that's out of anybody's control. Rick mentioned when we talked to him earlier today about the closest, you know, team that they played to be in Creighton was was Alabama. I mean, mm-hmm. how how do you see Alabama playing them twice help Tennessee prepare for for Creighton? Yeah, I think I think that's that's a good real um good a good team to pick from when you're talking about Alabama. Only difference I would say is Alabama's playmakers in Sears and Estrada are much more dynamic than Creighton's are. So their system um, is based around the players and them figuring it out as far as when you look at Alabama. And I think Creighton's system finds the open shots for Creighton, if that makes sense. Like, I don't worry about those guys beating guys off the dribble um, when you look at Creighton, look like at, at a more athletic team when you're talking about Sears and Estrada being able to handle the point guard responsibilities for and Wrightsville as well for Alabama compared to um, Creighton, and that's no knock to them. It's just that's just who they are. You know what I mean? Um, but when you talk about concepts and things of that nature, the both of them have the same idea of what they want: threes and layups. It, it's real simple to do. It. But the offense for me with Creighton dictates where the open shots are gonna come. Um, instead of just saying, "All right, y'all, we're gonna space out 
break your man down, get some pitches to threes, and be able to knock him down that way. Hey, Ron, one other note from the SEC VFL. Ron Slay with us, the Slay Ride presented by Native Design. What's the appropriate conversation right now in Lexington? With everything not settled there with what happens moving forward, but John Calipari's show last night, he was talking about how committed he is to getting things right. What should be talked about right now up there at Kentucky? Um, it should be talk- What should be talked about is the same thing that I believe going into last- this offseason, I mean this preseason was talked about. With this recruiting class that he brought in, if he's not able to get get it done, they should be talking about him being removed or his seat being scorching hot. And that's where we are. If they had an early exit, this is exactly what was should be expected. I mean, he set these expectations. Um, and how long we talked about all over the years, man, how long was Big Blue Nation going to be able to be understanding that Man, we got the most all stars out of any university playing an NBA All Star game. That didn't hang a banner. Man, all these contracts that these guys, it's over a billion dollars, four billion dollars or some over a lifespan. That don't hang up banners. Guys coming back, you know, and helping recruit, that don't hang up banners. These people love championships, and rightfully so. When you talk about a blue blood program that's gone on and win and won over and over and over, and can ever can recruit itself, Calipari brings a lot to Kentucky, and he elevated them even more. But it has been stagnant, and you can say the same for every other coach. Dating back to Rupp, um, Tino, the list goes on and on. Tubby, all these guys won, and once they stopped winning, outside of Patino, him walking away, everybody else was ousted <laughs> because the expectation is right there, and Cal is no different. You promise things, you promise getting wins, and if you look over the last four years, this league belongs to Auburn, Tennessee, and Alabama. If you talk about regular season championships and SEC conference tournament championships, Tennessee got two of the last three. Auburn got three of the last four. Like it's I'm, in Alabama, we know what Alabama is. So you, you got to figure it out. That's you think, man. Them conversations, man. After going out of football season, you hearing, ooh, this is a basketball only school. It, rhetorical yeah one of their uh their football players said hey don't worry we got you football season right <laughs> around the corner <laughs> see what i'm saying and them we conversations never supposed to come up no yeah, we got you we'll get one point closer to tennessee this year we promise <laughs> yeah it's all they need <laughs> it's a stressful time in lexington not in yeah. knoxville at least not for those reasons as tennessee gets ready for the sweet 16 expectations ron slay what, what do you expect this week we'll talk about that when we come back 30 more minutes here on the sleigh ride the sleigh ride every week thanks to native design with the native nursery for you for contractors for landscapers your one-stop shop they'll take care of you go to native tn.com as we come back with sec basketball legend ron slay on josh and swain i'm tennessee head football coach josh heifel you get all your ball network programming on 99.1 the sports animal 13 hours of live and local Tennessee coverage every weekday. When it comes to game day, the animal is championship level in breaking down the action. Get your Tennessee football coverage where you get insight unlike any other. No one covers the ball like 99.1, the sports animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. The Lady Vols fell to NC State 79-72 to in the second round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Rakia Jackson had a game-high 33 points for Tennessee, which finishes its season at 20-13. and Fifth-ranked Tennessee baseball is set to face off against in-state opponent Tennessee Tech tonight at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. The Vols lead the all-time series 72-32-1, but have a 47-13 advantage when playing in Knoxville. First pitch tonight is at 6 o'clock. You can catch the game right here on the Sports Animal. NBA games on your Tuesday night at 7.30. The Heat host the Warriors. The Lakers visit the Bucks at 8 o'clock. The Pelicans take on the Thunder and the Mavericks visit the Kings at 10. And the Nashville Predators put their franchise record 17 game point streak on the line tonight against the Vegas Golden Knights in Nashville. Puck drop is at 8 o'clock. I'm Joel Silverberg. 
Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Ted Russell Ford and savings they have for you right now with the March Mania sales event that has a few days to go, a few days to go here in the month of March, with savings available on brand new 2023 and 2024 vehicles. If you're in the market for a truck, check out the savings they have, low interest rates that are available on brand new 2023 Ford F-150 trucks. That includes the 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning. If you would like to learn more about the different electric vehicle options they have, from the Lightning to the Ford Mustang Mach-E, go to Ted Russell Ford. It is the Model E elite dealer. If you're looking for an electric vehicle from Ford, Ted Russell Ford has the most, the best options for you and what you're looking for, whether it's trucks, SUVs, Ford, Lincoln. There's the brand new Ted Russell Lincoln dealership on Kingston Pike right next to Ted Russell Ford. They'll take care of you. Parkside Drive, Kingston Pike, and you can shop online at tedrussellford.net. This has been a big announcement. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Ace is the only national retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint. And when you buy a sample, we'll give you $5 off your next paint purchase. So if you want a new look for your home, look no further than Benjamin Moore paint at Ace. Stop by your local Elders Ace Hardware for your next paint hardware or lawn and garden project. You'll find the best brands like Benjamin Moore, Steel, and Traeger, along with helpful advice from Elders Ace. Offer valid on gallons of Benjamin Moore, Clark and Kensington, and Royal Paint. Limit one $5 coupon on one gallon purchase to purchase Fading A stores only. See store for additional details and exclusions. Elevate your products today with Native Nursery. Now open to contractors and landscapers. We're your one-stop destination, offering quality wholesale plants, trees, and landscaping materials. We'll even take your leaves and hardscape waste for a low flat rate. If you are a contractor or landscaper, make Native Nursery your go-to location today. Call or come by and see Ben and Ted. 865-315-0123 in 3473 Louisville Road. Five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Wow, these bank fees are flat out ridiculous. And forget about trying to get a car or home loan. So, uh, you do your banking with Sharon. Me? I don't. You use a bank? No. So what do you like, save your money under a mattress, bury it in the backyard? Or maybe you borrow from some rich relative when you need a loan? No, nothing like that. I do credit unioning. Wait, what? Credit unioning? What the heck's up? It's kind of like banking, but so much better. Especially if you use Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union. Shopping for an auto loan? Shopping for a vehicle is easy, the ATFCU way. Talk to Alcoa 10 before you shop so you can hit the lots with a same-day pre-approved loan. And you can get behind the wheel of that new or used car or truck. Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union, the clear choice. Your less red tape banking alternative. Go to atfcu.com for details. Member NCUA, an equal housing lender. I've lost 76 pounds, and I want to brag about it. Hey, what's up? It's Tyler Ivins. You know me. That's right. Brag Weight Loss and Wellness has absolutely been a game changer. Not only have I lost 76 pounds in the beginning, during the pandemic, I put more than half of that weight back on, and I've successfully lost it again, all thanks to Dr. Terry Bragg. And they're so proud to be Strong Science certified, ensuring that you'll lose 40 pounds in just 40 days. And better yet, you'll sustain it. If you're ready to transform your life and brag about it, visit BraggWeightLossAndWellness.com to start your Strong Science certified journey to a healthier you at edwin watts golf shops by worldwide golf there's something that binds us all the collective goal to transcend the ordinary introducing the all-new ping g730 and i530 irons the g730 irons are ping's longest and most forgiving irons while the i530s fit golfers who want more distance in a player's design and are engineered for higher launch and more visit us in store at edwin watts golf shops or online at worldwidegolf.com Get there. This report is sponsored by Tire Rack. Nearly 3,000 teen drivers die in car crashes each year. Tire Rack Street Survival is designed to save lives. The one-day hands-on driving school gives teens experience in car control through exercises that include emergency braking and skid recovery. Find a class near you at TireRack.com slash survive. Widespread rain continues as we head into the afternoon hours. Highs are staying into about the lower 60s, some gusty winds possible. Rain starts to push out of here a little bit later this afternoon and into those evening hours. Got some clouds sticking around tonight. Temperatures going to drop into the upper 40s. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. 
Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. In counties near or small, there's a law firm to help you through whatever is your fall. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group to guide you through your most trying times. 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Is there anything more fun than streaming 99.1 The Sports Animal? Better answer that very carefully. I'll take that as an answer of at least one thing. All facts, no fluff. Honest, credible sports information from two guys that know the facts. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. We're back on Josh and Swain. We continue on the sleigh ride presented by Native Design, which is now open the Native Nursery for contractors and landscapers. Call 865-310-3256. NativeTN.com is the website for Native Design, now with the Native Nursery. And we have Ron Sleigh with us for the entire hour. Last hour, Ron, we had a chance to talk to Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes. And uh, Swain asked Rick about officiating how it's gone so far the first couple of rounds of the tournament. You've seen these games in person, you've seen the way that they've been officiated. We also saw Tobey Awaka, the impact he made for Tennessee against Texas, but the foul trouble he dealt with. So part of those go together. What you've seen from the officiating, the approach Tennessee should take, and then how Tobey should approach what he's doing, how aggressive he is, but how careful he needs to be at the same time. Yeah, I think, man, looking at the officiating, first and foremost, man, the thing that stood out was the blown calls throughout the tournament so far, and then in this particular, particular game, Tennessee versus Texas, the charge that's been, um, we know, and I, I remember being on calls with officials and them telling us, you know, um, expect this, especially the guys that's going to be doing color and play by play, like having a meeting with them probably about an hour um, on Zoom and them talking about the charge block um, situation and how a lot of the times it'll be a block, not where kind of throwing that out as far as guys being able to sell the charge and all of that. And that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case in this game at all. I thought that changed the trajectory of the game a lot early on with Josiah, who I thought was playing real aggressive. And I'm glad he came back in and continued that. But that could have that could have stunted his play um, a bit. As far as Tobey goes, man, that was one hell of a game, man. And I when, when you have guys – on your team that are able to go match intensity. Um, the reason I believe some of those fouls are called on Tobey is because he's the only one doing that. That's the problem. Um, if everyone went aggressively to the boards like that, Josiah did, but Ganey did when he gave his opportunity, Meshack did. But if you can do that consistently over and over, then they wouldn't be able to call that foul on Tobey because they would look at the other team's bench and say, what you want me to do? Like, I can't call the foul on every single play. They can't do that. So the game would last forever, and then you wouldn't have no players. So I think Toby did a, a masterful job um, of coming in and switching the momentum of the game. Um, and it wasn't just out of aggressive strength or anything. It was all want to, going to go get the ball, all in attack mode. And that was something I thought that Jonas was lacking early on. You saw him um, fumbling the ball, missing a couple of layups. But Toby came in, and that became contagious. Jonas got back in and picked up where Toby left off. So that was really good, man, for him to be able to come and set the tone like that. I thought that was dope. Um, and that's one of the things when you're playing that six-man, seven-man role, you get to go in and affect the game where it's no other body, there's nobody else on the other bench that can match your energy and intensity if you go out there and play with it all and in the right way. Um, Toby – as far as, man, me personally, you're going to need them. But, man, don't change a, a thing about the way you're playing. The, the most aggressive team, the most the most um, disciplined team, the team that plays the hardest is the one that's going to be probably at the end of these games with a win. So if that's what Toby brings to this team, continue to bring that. And that, that man, that is infectious to the other players. Like, I don't remember seeing Ganey jump that high for an offensive rebound before. Like, that was – I was like, wow, this this dude got up. Like, and that was that was big. The last play, um, Josiah getting the, the um, defensive rebound where Jonas didn't box out. 
his man was about to grab that ball if uh, Josiah didn't run and attack that last defensive rebound. That was huge. So, so many different things, man. But you got to give all love to Tobe as a catalyst, man. Mayshack playing this part, but especially Tobe. It reminded me of the Louisiana Lafayette game when we were kind of – our game was – in my year um, before playing UConn was kind of hanging in the balance. And you need plays like that. And I was inserted into the game and kind of had that same spark. And it ain't about, you know, going out there and getting 15 and 10 or anything. It's the impactful minutes, the impactful plays that you make that mean the most in those type of games. Right. I've never seen the rims be that tight to where it affected so many shots. I mean, the ball Mm -hmm. just did not want to go in for both teams. Yeah. And I I mean, Swain, I mean, the ball was – do, 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 in and I mean out. It was like some stuff you see on double rims outside at the park. Yeah. Like that's that's not what you're supposed to be seeing in NCAA tournament. Uh I don't know what it is, man. They need to loosen them or what, but I, I I just continue to say, man, those are the games that you learn from this season playing at Mississippi State, at Texas AM, when South Carolina came to you, and you were in uh, against Mississippi State in the SEC tournament. When the ball's not falling and you able to turn it on and be able to make the plays at the right times um, and continue to have your confidence, that's different. That's different. You you were able to learn from those mistakes, man, and you didn't make the same. When it came around this time, Josiah nailed that three in the corner. Yep. Um, Dalton Connect coming out of the baseline out of bounds, did not hesitate. He knew he was shooting that three, regardless how many he had missed before, he was shooting it. And it was, it was money, and it was needed at that time. So – Got to continue to keep doing it, man. Uh, Zakai, just keep letting it fly. Um, and sometimes that's your best offense, man, letting these guys go get it off the rim. Ron, uh, Swain can be a bit of a mess during these games. As calm and cool and collected as Jason Swain is, yeah. how are you going to be on Friday there in Detroit, watching Tennessee trying to get to only its second Elite Eight, trying to get to the Final Four for the first time ever? H- how are you going to be? You know what? I'm gonna be good, man. I'm um I'm gonna be a, a trash talking machine um, from my spot in the stands. Um, uh, and that that'll be towards the players, towards officials, whoever it may be. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be all the way engaged. I will say, man. Um, I didn't I I, I didn't go into panic not one time in that Texas game, and being that close to watch the team, it resonates off of them like the confidence that they had in one another all those guys like that was so impressive to me like nobody pointing fingers nobody like hey man now nah, let's try to do that everybody was on the same page they were calm collected hey man let's go out here and get this stop let's go out here and do this kept feeding confidence in each other and i thought that was that was real dope to see and maybe that's why i didn't get nervous because i was like dog they they're in it you know what i'm saying like they're they are not panicking like nobody is going breathing hard or like it, everybody was calm and in the moment. And that was really, really dope to see how engaged these guys were. Um, and I, the, the game was actually moving pretty slow. Usually I have to go back and watch the game. So if it's moving like that, I'm fine. And I'll be under control. Um, come Friday. Were you calm and, and collected when, uh, Brock Cunningham tossed Jordan Ganey to the ground? No, I wasn't. Um, I hated that. Um, and I, I'm I'm so glad that I wasn't out there because I, I know me. I would have done something so dumb. Um, me and Cunningham would have definitely been out of the game, and it would have been due to the dumb stuff that I was going to do. Like, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good to have cooler heads prevail, man. But And Ganey stood up you, smiling. He he knew immediately yeah, Cunningham's about to be in trouble. Yeah, I got you. He knew it. He knew it. He knew it. Yeah, that's that's the that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing about it. Like he was smart. He was smart about the situation. Me, I wouldn't have been that smart. I would have <laughs> probably been a little dumb. But I will say, man, that was a great job by the by the coaches, um, letting these guys know that he has a history of doing this. Um, so be on the lookout for it. Don't get caught up in it. And that that was dope to see. Like he should have been ejected for that though, because I thought what was more malicious than the throwdown was how he came in for the offensive board on that play with the elbow to the back of Ganey's head before he even got to that. Uh, that they, they they didn't even replay that mm. for some reason, but he elbowed him in the back of the head, which made Ganey go down and then go in the box out position. Like, 
It was, it was wild, man. I don't know how you able to get away with that. And then Baker Mazar gets tossed out for retaliating against somebody. So, But Jordan Ganey and Tennessee on to the Sweet 16. Texas done for the season. We'll come back. We'll be done after the next segment. One more to go with Ron Slay here on the Slay Ride. BFL, Tennessee, and SEC basketball legend joins us each week thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery. We'll come back with Ron Slay on Josh and Swain. Get a head start. Get ahead of everything with spring cleaning. And I got a life hack for you. You ready? Schedule your appointment of getting your carpets cleaned with Zero Res Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning. Plus, you can use my name, Tyler Ivinson, the Sports Animal, and get three rooms of carpet clean for just $119. And the best part, they're going to throw in a free hallway absolutely free. Book online now. Schedule that appointment at Zero Res Knoxville. The economy is changing. Uncertainty is everywhere. Now, more than ever, people have serious questions about their financial future. Hi, I'm Mark Pankrat, former UT men's basketball coach and now financial advisor for Axiom Wealth Management. Questions are normal, fear is understandable, but you can have financial peace of mind with a solid game plan. My team and I bring over 100 years of experience answering questions and creating financial solutions. Get in touch with us today at axiom.nm.com to schedule a no-obligation consultation. Axiom Wealth Management is a North Western Mutual private client group. Avenged sevenfold in concert. A7X. This Thursday night, Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center with special guests Poppy and Sullivan King. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. New album, Life is But a Dream, out now. Avenged Sevenfold, produced by Live Nation. Hound Dogs, Knoxville's oldest privately owned UT fan shop, is your one-stop shop for any big orange fan. Hound Dogs has all your ball swag from head to toe, from the backyard to the man cave. New stock items come in every day and items for your little ball fans. Hound Dogs is located on Cedar Bluff at Kingston Pike or online at hdknoxville.com. Join their VIP club and get info on exclusive specials and events. Get your orange up at Hound Dogs. Spring is here, and that means it's time to break out the clubs and play some golf. Wednesday, April 3rd at 9 a.m., go to 991thesportsanimal.com for the 2024 East Tennessee Golf Card presented by Mark Nelson Golf Apparel. These are broken up into two cards with exceptional courses on each. Courses like Island Point, The Greens at Deerfield, Ruggles Farron, Wild Laurel, Knoxville Municipal, Willow Springs, Dandridge, Patriot Hills, Flinchview, Woodlake, Three Ridges, Sevierville Country Club, Creekside, and Smoky Mountain Golf Club make up this year's golf cards, giving you access to premier courses in the area at unbeatable values. Valued at nearly $350, these can be yours for just $159 each. That's 14 courses broken up into two cards for just $159 each. Each. Get one, get both, but make sure you don't pay full price to golf this year. Go online to 991thesportsanimal.com Wednesday, April 3rd at 9 a.m. to get yours. Hurry, they'll go fast. Phoenix Conversions. You love your home truck, work truck, SUV. You want it tricked out, fixed up, VIP. You need it modified, personal. Your products today with Native Nursery. Now open to contractors and landscapers. We're your one-stop destination, offering quality wholesale plants, trees, and landscaping materials. We'll even take your leaves and hardscape waste for a low flat rate. If you are a contractor or landscaper, make Native Nursery your go-to location today. Call or come by and see Ben and Ted. 865-315-0123 in 3473 Louisville Road. Five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Jacqueline Bouvier was a newspaper photographer who met a congressman from Massachusetts. His name, John F. Kennedy. When he was elected president, she became the first lady and a champion of the arts and culture in America. When President Kennedy was assassinated, the world grieved with his young widow and her two children. Later in life, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis had a successful career in book publishing. We salute Jackie Kennedy. Cumulus Media and 99.1 The Sports Animals celebrate Women's History Month. From the Budweiser Studios of The Sports Animal.
We are 99.1, the sports animal. Back on Josh and Swain, final segment of this this week's sleigh ride. The sleigh ride every week, thanks to Native Design. They've now opened the Native Nursery for contractors, landscapers. NativeTN.com, Jacob Dunaway, and his people will take care of you. NativeTN.com is the website for Native Design. 865-310-3256 for Native Design. Now opening up the Native Nursery for you. Uh, we had Jackie say, Ron, you need to be up there to talk enough trash for all of us, especially Josh. It'll be past his bedtime late tip up in Detroit for Tennessee against Creighton. Will, will you be polling one way or the other, Gonzaga-Purdue, before the Tennessee-Creighton game for an opponent for Tennessee on Sunday? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I'm definitely pulling for Gonzaga. I want okay. Purdue to always get – I wish Purdue would have got knocked off in the first round. Like, I, <laughs> I want them to get – I want them to get handled, man. Like, get that big dominant force up out of the game. Like, that's it's not fair to have a seven four guy that skilled to be able to play that long and get up and down the floor. No, get him out of there immediately. I'm pulling for Gonzaga. Okay, Gonzaga. That's, that's the answer uh, I expected. <laughs> sure, yeah, but there, there's the rematch opportunity. You could knock out Zach Eady. Wouldn't wouldn't that give you a little more pride? Yeah, that's cool if, if that's the way it comes down to it. But if you can knock it out before getting there, yeah, I like, I like, listen, I don't want to have to play against Shaq. Right. But if I do, I mean, it's cool. Right. We got to do what we got to do. Ain't no way around it. Yep. <laughs> I, but it's going to be interesting, though. I think Mark Few and him, Mark Few, man, he always got some tricks up his sleeve, man. That team's playing really well. Nine straight yeah. Sweet 16s for Gonzaga. Yeah. That is remarkable. That, that's, to, to that make that kind of run tough. for any program to do that. Gonzaga included. Absolutely. You just you hit on it early in the um in the show talking about, you know, these guys that made the final four not even getting back to this point. And they getting that every year, year in and year out, and always get tested. Yeah. You know, as and talked about and have the spotlight on their back because of the conference and how they run through it. But man, Mark Few, he got those guys playing uh the right way with the right energy, man. And it's it's good to watch. It's fun basketball to watch, I will say that. Mm -hmm. Who who's the next Number one seed that's on upset alert the most, Ron. Mm. I'm gonna have to go. I, if I had to pick one, it'd be Arizona. I, I had to get um, Arizona up out of there, and it's just they they can have some inconsistencies at time and look like a shell of themselves. They rely so much on Caleb Love, um, and if other guys, Larson and those guys aren't going, it could be different. But um, to me, they're the weakest of the. The four, so that's be the, that'll be the one I would roll with. If they advance, we would both teams. We would get a rematch of not a rematch. It would be Caleb Love against his old school, UNC yeah. and Arizona, waiting in the Elite Eight. That'd UNC, be good. Yeah, UNC against Alabama in the that'd, Sweet Sixteen. That'd be good. Even though, like, listen, man, I I I, I like what UNC has, R.J. Davis and them guys, but mm -hmm. I want to see I want to see Baycott. Um, Go up against a big, a big man, a big fella. Like yeah, but and it's one, one of the more interesting matchups if we see that yeah. in the elite eight. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Ron, what did we miss here in the final couple of minutes? We were asked. So, as as Tobe earned a key to the boom boom room, I don't know if you want to make that official. Okay, definitely. I was screaming it from the stands. Lock the door. I was <laughs> looking to be like, man, your boy's gonna be all right, man. I, hey, dog. Like I, I've never. I'm trying to think. The last game I've been to. And I felt that type of feeling, like where I got chills and like wanted to run on the court, was Tennessee, Kentucky at Tennessee when they had PJ Washington, mm. and they were kind of punking Grant Williams in the first half, and I got the opportunity to say something to Grant at halftime, and he went out there and turned it on, and I mean went to work, and uh, Tennessee ended up winning that one. That's when they had the the baseline dunk from Schofield that was nasty, but that was the last game, and I can say. A big just really took oh, uh, Tobe. You could feel it, like man, this man grabbing up. Like man, I want man, I want to go out there and hug that man. Whoop. Like I'm gonna be real, like Tobe, man. I'm so proud of you. I'm so and man, I'm Josiah, dude. 
I remember them coming out of the four minute, the under four timeout, and me telling my partner, I said, "Man, now this is the this is the reason, and where your fifth year guys can turn it on, and this is the reason they came back for moments like this." You under talked about that minutes. on the show last week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Under four minutes, this is the time to close it out. Santi and Joe were in the game. Like this is why you came back. No other reason. All the regular season, all that's good. It's for times like this. That man went out there and answered that bell, man, shot that three. Hit that three in the corner, man. Hey, man, I, boy, I'm proud of them dudes, man. I'm going to be real like, golly. I'm, I, that's a that's one of them big brother moments where you sit back and be like, that's all right, man. Them dudes do listen at some point. Man. So continue to keep that rolling, man. But I, I think as much as we get on them, um, the fans and everything, and ask when he going to deliver, man, y'all, y'all need to give Josiah his flowers, man. Because that, that 9 and 9 was like 18 and 10. I'm going to be real. What would you say to Grant Williams? <laughs> I, I can't repeat. We have FCC rules I, here, Ron. I, yeah, you know was, about it. Was, I know, but it was, you're a professional. You, you, it was, you, can, clean him, it, hey, you can clean it up. He, he was coming, um, getting ready. getting ready. I was uh, coming off the floor, crossing paths with him. Told him, hey, man, them dudes down there can't bleep with you. Like, they scared of you. And you playing timid. Slap him on the chest, like, come on, man. Be the grant that we need you to be, man. What, what are you waiting on? And he that, said, all right. That's it. Yes, sir. And it was on. And I mean, it was, ooh, we, oh, see, I think I might have hurt myself because <laughs> I don't get the seats like I used to. Um, I think that, uh, at that time I was right behind the bench. And I was, boy, when, ooh, we, I was letting PJ watch it in the head. That was the game he went down with cramps. And I'm, I'm telling everybody in, in, in the stands why it's quiet. We don't care. Like, quit quit hovering around, dude. So? And we ain't got nothing to do with him. They, they Let them come down and figure out what's going on with his little legs. You know what I mean? We on to the next one. Bring somebody else in so we can get this game underway. Um, so I'm finding myself moving up. My seats are moving further and further back. <laughs> this time I was about the fifth row. Al Wilson had a seat in front of me. I mean, Al is legend without question. You know what I mean? And a salute to my dog. You know what I mean? But... Al shouldn't be in the fourth row and me be in the fifth row. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Al got the same attitude as what y'all don't understand. And he's saying the same exact thing. He's just not saying it. He's just saying it with his eyes. I'm verbally saying it. So <laughs> I, y'all not getting away from this, man. You know what I mean? This is how all VFL feel, VFLs feel. And we're going to continue to show this kind of support, man. So, it's true. Um, yeah, quit putting me up and up and up and up, y'all. I need to be closer and closer to the flow. Upper room. Ron, uh, we we are past our out time. Did, has Al Wilson though told you? Is he going to Detroit as well? Will he be there when you're there this Friday? I'm gonna text him. I hope he is. Okay, I hope he is, man. Yeah. That was he's a been, good time. He's been good luck for Tennessee too, just like you. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. I'm gonna make sure I'm shaved and, and tidy <laughs> up like like Al for this next game too. Lock the door on Friday, Tennessee against Creighton in the Sweet 16. Ron Slay every week on the Slay Ride, thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery. Go to nativetn.com on 3HL in the afternoons on The Zone in Nashville as well. Safe travels. Uh, Look forward to seeing you there uh, cheering on Tennessee on Friday. Ron, thank you for the time as always. No doubt, man. Coaches, staff, man, salute to them too. Continue doing what y'all are doing. Chad Newman, keep these folks healthy, man. Thank you, Ron. Ron Slay. With us for a full hour with one hour to go on Josh and Swain, both on 99.1 The Sports Animal and AM 640 The Sports Monster. Is reviewing life insurance on your to-do list? Now's the perfect time to add it. A friend recently told me that securing life insurance sooner rather than later can help you lock in lower rates for years to come. So I bumped this up on my list and got it done. I called SelectQuote and couldn't believe how easy and affordable life insurance is. I'm 40 and got a $500,000 policy for $16 a month. My husband's also 40 and his $500,000 policy was only $18 a month. Plus, with SelectQuote's same-day coverage, there was no medical exam required and we were covered by the time we hung up knowing i have this checked off my list feels amazing but the peace of mind knowing my family is protected feels even better call select quote at 1-800-280-8787 that's 1-800-280-8787 or go to selectquote.com to get your free quote today that's 1-800-280-8787 details on example rate at selectquote.com 
Stop by the Eric Ains Show broadcast at Food City this Thursday when Eric and Brian are on location at Food City, 9565 Middlebrook Pike near the Ball Camp Road intersection. Nobody does food like Food City, the official supermarket of UT Athletics. They say that good fences make good neighbors. And when it comes to your privacy, Loudoun County Fence is the fencing company East Tennesseans have trusted for over 50 years. Your fence should be durable and stylish. Visit their website at lcfence.com and view all of their great options, from wood privacy to ornamental aluminum fencing. Loudoun County Fence is a family-owned and operated company with over 50 years of experience installing quality fencing in and around Knoxville. They're fully licensed and insured, and their workmanship is guaranteed. For your free estimate, visit lcfence.com. Swipe left, swipe right. Dating has become very impersonal. But if one of those swipe rights has led you to the right person, I would like to invite you to stop by TK Wheeler Jewelers for a very personal visit. You'll find a gorgeous selection of engagement rings and bridal sets that you can actually try on before you decide. Bring the person you swiped right to TK Wheeler Jewelers today. One woman, one diamond, one place to go. TK Wheeler Jewelers in Oak Ridge next to Outback. Unlock the life and longevity you deserve with Marble City Family Chiropractic. If you're experiencing chronic or acute pain, Marble City Family Chiropractic can help. They now offer MLS cold laser treatments, which promote cellular growth, regeneration, and healing. It's ideal for patients with arthritis, neck and back injuries, herniated discs, knee conditions, bursitis, carpal tunnel, and plantar fasciitis. The effects are long-lasting, and the treatment is painless. To schedule your appointment, call 766-2081 or visit MarbleCityChiropractic.com. Spring is just around the corner and Ford Sanders Health and Fitness Center has the key for you to be happy, healthy, strong, and more in 2024. The outdoor pool is going to be opening soon in April and in the meantime, there's the indoor pool that's open all year round. At Ford Sanders Health and Fitness Center, they have all the strength and cardio equipment you could want, and they have amenities like basketball and racquetball courts, indoor and outdoor tennis, and of course, pickleball, which is all the rage right now, if you haven't heard. Plus, there's about 85 group fitness classes each week, including my absolute favorite, Spin Sprint. It is the best. Parents, Ford Sanders Health and Fitness Center has complimentary child care with a family membership, and there's even swim and tennis lessons available for adults and kids. All those memberships are month to month there's no long-term contracts and you have nothing to lose except those winter blues at fort sanders health and fitness center they're on the corner of kingston pike and the Pellissippi parkway call them at 531-5000 or visit fshfc.com Johnson, our CFO needs some info for the IPO ASAP. No problem, boss. Just search the web. Cumulus Digital has helped our SEO big time. Speak English, Johnson. Search engine optimization. SEO, huh? Hmm, that's A-OK. CumulusDigital.com. This is WNMLFM Friendsville. WNMLAM Knoxville. Cumulus Media Stations. Broadcasting worldwide from the Budweiser Studios. We are 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Jim Rome with the CBS Sports Minute, sponsored by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Old Trapper, what's your beef? Shohei finally gets around to addressing the media, and he was about as convincing as you can sound through an interpreter without fielding any questions whatsoever, which is to say, not convincing at all. I am pretty much like everybody else, and I have the same doubts and the same questions that we've all had since the very jump. I'm Jim Rome. When a cold keeps you up, try NyQuil Severe Honey Flavor. The nighttime, sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, honeylicious, best sleep with a cold medicine. Powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a dreamy honey taste to give your body the rest it needs to get that cold gone. Wake up refreshed, feeling relieved after enjoying the delicious flavor of NyQuil Severe Honey. NyQuil Severe Honey Flavor, use as directed. Keep out of reach of children ebay motors is here for the ride 120,000 miles of night drives daily commutes and who knows how many are we there yet through countless fixes elbow grease and a new radiator you kept your ride alive with ebay motors you have over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. 
Recovering millions at damages for personal injury clients throughout East Tennessee. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group so they can help you get the help you need. 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Thank you for being with us here in the final hour of Josh and Swain. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. It's the waiting game. Swain, it's Friday night, Tennessee playing. Last week it was a Thursday, so you get an extra day. That also means extra rest and prep for both sides. Tennessee and Creighton played on Saturday night. Now they'll play on Friday night. If you go to uh, ESPN.com, the main story right now is referee madness. How NCAA tournament refs advance to the next round. Would you like to take one wild guess at the referee that is in the picture of the... Hope, hopefully it's my... Thumbnail. The high stepper. My high knees guy. It's not... You know what's funny? I hadn't noticed that, and now I see it everywhere. Yeah, man. I just... I guess I hadn't paid attention, but now I see it everywhere. Uh, it would be one Patrick Adams that is in the photo. And by the way, I say Patrick Adams because the NCAA announced the officials that will be a part of the second weekend, and that was how his name was listed. Patrick Adams. I'm sure Pat was like, thanks, but he want them checks. <laughs> and that check says Patrick Adams, and he sure is going to cash it. Yep. But, um, I mean, he's not terrible. He's not. He's, he's actually a pretty good ref, and hopefully he falls in line with um, how the rest of the referees have been officiating. Let it be physical. I think it plays into Tennessee's hands quite nicely. Toby's like, yes. <laughs> I prefer no fouls. Like the playgrounds in New York. No fouls, no nets yeah. on the rim. Let's go. That will be a conversation the rest of the week and heading in as uh, we talked about it with Rick Barnes during the first hour. We talked about Tobey and then just avoiding foul trouble, the way the games have been officiated last hour with Ron Slay. Creighton is number one in the country on defense in not allowing teams to get to the free throw line because they don't foul. Uh, as Rick said, they just don't. <laughs> they don't. They, obviously, they literally that's, do commit that, fouls, but they are number one in the country in opposing teams' free throw attempts per field goal attempts. It's difficult to get to the line against Creighton. Tennessee ranks 258th in the country in opposing teams getting to the free throw line per field goal attempts. Number that, one in the country remarkable. on Creighton's side. They're the best in the nation. Tennessee ranks in the back half. That's remarkable. I mean, you look at some of the games they have played. The one game that stands out the most is their win versus UConn. But if you go and look at that UConn game and go look at the shooting in that game from UConn from three, it looks like the same shooting Tennessee had when they beat Texas to go to the Sweet 16. Three of 16. Do the math. It's a, a cool almost 19%. There it is. So, the number one team in the country, the favorite, they lost to Creighton. Why? Because they just didn't make shots. So, it don't matter how good you are. If you're not making shots, you're going home. And they got their butts beat 19% from, from three. Well, Creighton shot 50% from three. But like Rick said earlier, there has been games where Creighton, they've shot the ball very, very well from three, made a ton of threes, but still lost. So it's the other parts of the game that Tennessee has to do a really good job uh, in. Not yeah. not fouling, not letting them get to the free throw line, um, being smart with when to take chances uh, on the defensive end, not letting those guys get free free shots at the line because they're going to nail it. They're Really good, good free throw shooting team. Yeah, they're they're really good. They don't get there a lot because of their outside shooting. But yeah. when they get to the free throw line, it's lights out. And of course, the foul aspect that's just one of many that go into this game. One of the best matchups, if you just look at metrics, Tennessee is fourth in the country defensively in how the opposing team shoots the ball, the effective field goal percentage rate, and Creighton on offense is third in the country. So top some five offensive versus defensive yeah, some ratings for Creighton versus Tennessee. So that's a strength versus a strength matchup 
in this game. Yeah, some some has to give. Something will give. Hopefully, it's for Tennessee. Also, what stood out about Rick Barnes' comments is the staff, along with the support staff, trying to make sure that they break up the day so that way guys are not laying around. I know when I played, I, I like night games, but it was tough laying around the hotel, waiting to play, waiting to play, waiting to play, and – our football team now, I mean, we love early games because we practice in the morning, so we're better off just getting up and going. Well, for this basketball team, dude, they playing at 10. Mm-hmm. Like, it's one thing to play an 8 p.m. football game. And it's hey, also tentative it's because it's a 30-minute yeah. break after. Yeah, it, so. could be, it could be later. Right, right. So you're waiting all day and then maybe a little bit longer than you anticipate. And, of course – that goes for both teams, but it is how you handle it. A lot of what Rick Barnes talked about during our conversation was how they handle their business. They're, of course, scouting. They're, of course, yeah. preparing for what Creighton does. But how Tennessee handles what it's trying to do, and that will go into game day preparation as part of it as well. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of nuggets that you're they're trying to find to see what can be the difference interviews that they listen to, you know, D- Danny Hurley or game film that they've watched, trying to find anything and everything is, to give those guys a slight edge. Man, I love that part uh, of, of the game where you're, you're playing chess, you're not playing checkers, you're trying to find any and every little advantage you can find. I also loved at the end of last hour with Ron Slay, he was talking about how proud he is of these guys. I've heard you say that a bunch. When when you see what current players do, yeah. uh, how proud you are of what they're able to accomplish, mm-hmm. knowing the work they put in to then be in that position. Sometimes the criticism they receive along the way to then get the results to back up that kind of work. That was cool to hear from Ron last hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to hear that. I also noticed how Rick Barnes you know, explained – how people may think it's easy to make free throws in that moment, but it's really difficult. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you might go to the YMCA and go make some free throws and no one's watching, but try doing it when the game is on the line and uh, you missing it or making it could be the determining factor of whether you win or lose. Like, Auburn had a 80% free throw shooter at the guard position against uh, Yale, and – he missed the first one. Yep. And it changed it changed their their plan to try to retake that lead or get in the lead to win. Uh had to force to miss the second one, got the offense rebound, but just couldn't couldn't score. So yeah, we've seen eighty percent free throw shooters go to the line and still miss it. Yeah. Because nerves are a real thing. Yeah, Baylor Clemson, final minute. Baylor had crawled back. Clemson had a big lead early. Baylor cut into it. it's a two point game less than a minute to go. Clemson's PJ Hall commits a foul. Fouls him out of the game and sends Baylor to the free throw line with a chance to tie it if they hit both of them. Baylor's player shot better than 80% this season from the free throw line. Missed the first, then missed the second. Clemson got the rebound, went down and hit its free throws. That's game it. Over. That's, the, that's the game. And Baylor's player was distraught because he knows he had a chance. They would have had to play it out, but he had a chance to send them to overtime to win the game. Clemson would have been without P.J. Hall, who's really important. So... Jonas hitting those shots. Dalton Connect, I mean, he's a, he's a great shooter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's gone through his free throw issues during a stretch this season. It's been perfect. He knocked him down, though, late, and he was saying, I want the ball. That probably goes back to what Slade was talking about as well, that he, he could see, despite the run by Texas, the confidence in the players being locked in, and that would be backed up by the results. Yeah, yeah. you got to have that confidence, though. The game is on the line with the ball in your hands. It's good to have a guy like Don connect, and mm-hmm. Don's not going to uh, shy away from that moment either. So yeah, Zakai wants the ball in that spot to go it. to the line. I'll have confidence in Santi if he's stepping to the line, despite issues he's had at different times. He gets the ball, he can knock him down. Josiah's been he's, near perfect. He's for our the best last free throw weeks. shooter, like by percentage. I think he's the best free yeah. throw shooter. Yeah, he is. He has been beyond clutch in that spot. So nothing's guaranteed. You can have a ninety percent guy go to the line and and miss him, but. Tennessee has several players they can trust. And if Jonas is in that spot again, again, nothing's guaranteed. Cool. But now he's hit him, and yeah, that, that has to help too. That was a cool moment. Man. Usually you you take your center and you put him as far away from the ball as possible because he's not going to be a better free, free, free throw shooter than your guards. But mm-hmm. he gets it, knocks down both of them. Yeah, and Tobey's hit him. 
this season. I don't, no one's had sure a big turn. clutch opportunity, but no, he hasn't. But like, to, no one has improved their free throw shooting more than Tobey Walker mm-hmm. from last season to this season. Yep, and that's made a difference too. We'll come back eight six five six five six ninety nine hundred to be a part of the show. We'd love to hear from you as you can call or text in eight six five six five six ninety nine hundred. Joey asking, did Swain just say Pat Adams is a decent ref? Is he feeling okay? He's a decent ref. Kim Palm says he's a top twenty ref, right? That's the Kim Palm rankings. We're not going to deny Kim Palm, are we? Not on this show. Is that, is that what we start? That's not what on, we're going to start doing here. Not on my watch. He ranks number twenty in the country. Yeah, I'm just saying. Top twenty is pretty good. Top twenty is pretty good. Out of how many officials? Two hundred. Out of two hundred officials, he's top twenty. It's pretty, pretty good. By the way, the Kim Palm metrics: thirteen of his top fourteen teams still alive. Um. The data, the data matters, man. Numbers matter. It matters. Take that for Ken Palm's data. We'll come back where we become a Pat Adams apologist on the show this afternoon. <sighs> I'm getting hit it. It's Tuesday. It's a long week leading up to the Sweet 16. We come back on Josh and Swain. Your odds to win 99.1 The Sports Animal's biggest prizes just got better. We now draw one member of our email club, The Jungle, as an instant finalist in contests with a grand prize value over $500. Club members get links to our latest blogs and videos, plus a layout of sports animal programming and the biggest sporting events of the weekend. To make sure you receive our weekly sports animal emails, visit our website at 991thesportsanimal.com and sign up for The Jungle Email Club. Attention, the following is a public service announcement. Don't buy your new Kia anywhere else. Hey folks, it's Jake from Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville. The home of the 200,000 mile warranty is also the home of the best price on any new Kia. Your best deal on your new Kia is on Callahan Drive. That's why we'll beat any dealer's price on any new Kia. No matter who they are, no matter where they are, period. If you don't buy your new Kia on Callahan Drive, you'll pay too much. Rusty Wallace Kia of Knoxville, I-75 at Callahan Drive. See dealer for details. The good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only at participating Wendy's. (coughs) <coughs> Can't sleep with this cold. Honey. <coughs> honey? Honey. You need NyQuil Severe Honey. NyQuil Severe Honey gives you powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a dreamy honey taste. Feeling better, honey? Honey? I'll take that as a yes. Try NyQuil Severe Honey for powerful cold and flu symptom relief. NyQuil Severe with honey flavor. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever. Honeylicious, best sleep with a cold. Medicine. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Avenged Sevenfold in concert. A7X. This Thursday night, Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center with special guests Poppy and Sullivan King. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. New album, Life is But a Dream, out now. Avenged Sevenfold, produced by Live Nation. If you're looking for exceptional plumbing service from people you can trust, call Wilson Brothers Plumbing. Wilson Brothers can help with any size project, including commercial, residential, and new construction. Wilson Brothers Plumbing has five-star Google reviews across the board. Customer satisfaction is the priority with Wilson Brothers. Need help with a project? Wilson Brothers can give you an upfront price that's sure to be fair. Call Wilson Brothers Plumbing at 865-415-1537 or go online to wilsonbrothersplumbing.com. Phoenix Conversions. You love your home truck, work truck, SUV. You want it tricked out, fixed up, VIP. You need it modified, personal.
tired of your outdated kitchen but worried about renovation costs? Affordable Kitchens and Tops has a wide range of stylish and durable countertops, cabinets, and more that won't make you break the bank. Visit AffordableKitchensandTops.com to explore their selection and get inspired today. Their team of experts will assist you every step of the way. From materials to professional installation, create the kitchen of your dreams now by visiting AffordableKitchensandTops.com and start your renovation journey today. Hi, it's me, Tracy King, at Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Text your address to me at 505-7455, and you'll receive your home's highest cash offers in seconds. Text your address to me at 505-7455 and start packing. Johnson, I've been reading about this geofencing. Know anything about it? Yeah, boss. We use geofencing through Cumulus Digital to help drive our sales. How does it work? We pick precise locations, and whenever a customer enters that location, they see our ads. That's what I thought. Cumulus Digital. Yesterday's transistor radio is today's cell phone, but the signal is now worldwide. Stream us everywhere. 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Coach Josh Heupel. You're listening to Josh and Swain on 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. Lenny texted in, accurately pointing out Creighton last in the country in turning people over on defense, which makes a lot of sense. If they're not committing a lot of fouls, they're probably not playing high-pressure defense. They're not turning people over. Tennessee offensively is already good at taking care of the basketball. With Zakai Ziegler, you're going to have more confidence in that spot to begin with. So... That's something that helps Tennessee, which is already good at taking care of the basketball. Should be a clean game on the offensive end for Tennessee. I mean, so don't have unforced errors. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they're so bad at forcing turnovers, then the way they get extra possessions is basically you just throwing the ball out of bounds because you're not paying attention. Or you taking the ball out of bounds that's not a bake, and you decide you want to – do the electric slide before throwing a ball in and get called for traveling. Like those are the mistakes you can't make. We saw a couple of those plays during the tournament too. It's been it's amazing what pressure does to you though. Because these guys have been playing basketball all their lives. They know the rules. We've seen players get called for traveling on the inbounds when they didn't have um opportunity to run the baseline after the score. We've seen players not know that it's the ball was going to be live on the free throw on line. the free throw line and throw the ball away like nerves and pressure man it it will affect you it will break you and then how many times have we seen 80 percent free throw shooters 75 percent free throw shooters go to the line and miss two free throws like this is this is why the tournament is is the best uh because you get heroes that are able to perform when the lights are the brightest and when the pressure is the highest, but then you also get the other side of it where you get players, you know, crumble under pressure. And, uh, you know, you hate to see that, but it's why you love the game because you get the other side of guys making big plays in those moments. That's the risk the players are taking. Fans are putting their hearts on the line. The, the risk of heartbreak Oh yeah, is there this time of year. Oh, yeah. I didn't see a lot of heartbreak from Texas, though. I, mean, I knew they were upset, but like heartbreak, like Adam Morrison boohooing, <laughs> yeah. and like you know, I didn't see that. Like those guys did a really good job of holding their tears into the locker room. Yeah, I've told you that. I don't know of a sadder place in sports than the NCAA tournament losing locker room. Oh yeah, especially for a team that is playing for something. Yep. Yep. For the teams that. They're just happy to be in the dance and you know, playing with house money. Mm-hmm. But they're sad, but they're not. They boo-boo. also go in like a 16 seed losing to a one. Yeah, they know. I, of course, it's sad. It's the it's the end. But uh, like I've, I've told you, the 08 Tennessee locker room after the loss to Louisville, that's Tennessee's team. There's number one. They were hoping to go win a national title. And just you know, They lost in the Sweet 16. That was a tough matchup. That team had a ton of length. 
It's yeah. a tough one going in, but that locker room after the fact was a tough place to be. I can only imagine, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to uh, do that if I was a journalist, man. Going those, going those locker rooms after that type of that type of uh, heartbreak. Of course, I've been in, in locker rooms last couple of months with football after a loss and after wins, and um, obviously those those losses are terrible. But it's not like a locker room in the NCAA tournament. Like, mm-hmm. I can only imagine. I and mean, I know you're explaining it. And I, we've seen video, but st- still doesn't really, really illustrate how tough of a sight that is for guys like you that's been in the locker room when it's happened right then. Yep. Uh, because I have a ton of respect for the work and the time it's put in to get to that point and knowing what they're trying to accomplish. And for that to – Essentially, in that instant, it's it's over. It's over. That's, that's it. Uh, speaking, not speaking of heartbreak, but speaking of VFLs and guys who have done it and, and been a big part of it, we had a great time talking to Rick Barnes in the first hour of the show. He's trying to get Tennessee back to an Elite Eight later today during Tyler and Will. They're going to have the Axiom Wealth Management VFL Day. So on the show this afternoon, you'll hear C.J. Watson. You'll hear Chris Lofton. You'll hear John Fulkerson. You'll hear Tyler Smith will be a part of the show. So some VFLs that have been in those spots trying to help Tennessee advance will be a part of Tyler and Will show later today, thanks to Mark Pankratz and Axiom Wealth Management. My man, Tyler Smith. Yeah. The guys County's finest. It's cool to see him and uh, be able to hear him on the radio. Glad. He's, uh, he's on the underrated list of the last 20 years or so, whatever we're talking Yeah, about 20 years. 18 years, when you go from the start of the Bruce Pearl mm-hmm. run to where they are now, he's underrated. Yeah, for sure. Was, was With all the, the really good players they've had come through. Yeah, he was one of the best players in the country. I don't even know why he went to Iowa at first, but, hey, he did. And um, came back home. You know, his father passed away, and so came back home. And I know how excited Tennessee fans were that one of their own was coming back home to play for the in-state team. And, I mean, he was a really, really good player uh, when he was here. He's coaching high school basketball, and – uh, it's funny because last uh, last year um, I kind of like coached against him in the AAU tournament in Nashville, and I uh, got a chance to catch up with him, and uh, it was it was real cool, man, to see him. He's doing well. You barking at him from the other side? No, I ain't, I ain't do all that. Okay. Mm-mm. No, I ain't do that. Drew texted in, said the Vols are too physical for Creighton. Better matchup for Jonas than Oregon would have been, in my opinion. Skinny Biggs, he can hang with. We got this. Bring on the 2019 rematch. Purdue, you might recall. Drew adding, maybe we don't get hosed late this time. I feel I feel good about the matchup. I do. I felt good about the matchup last year against Michigan. I felt good about the matchup uh, other games, too. But I do feel good about this matchup. And, uh, man, we got Zakai Ziegler. I'll go to war with him. Mm-hmm. Anytime, any place, doesn't matter. So I, I feel good going into this game. I'm, I will be nervous, but I like our matchup for sure. If Tennessee plays Purdue again on Sunday, officiating is already a part of the conversation. You want to talk about the nerves, the anxiety, the worry that fans will have with the history versus Purdue and the Sweet 16 with the Edwards call, with the Music City Bowl. And then the ED effect. Are you ready for that scenario on Sunday? It ain't about me being ready. It's about JP Australia being ready. Because he's got to be. His time will be called on the court. Oh, yeah, 100%. Hope he's ready. Because he will have to go out there and bang a little bit and and be a part of a three-man post team to be able to contain Edie if Tennessee's able to handle Creighton and if Purdue's able to get past Gonzaga, a team that's playing well right now. What do we call JP moving forward? The man down under? What do we I call him? I don't J- even know, man. JP Australia, <laughs> as dubbed uh, maybe during the broadcast the other night. I mean, the broadcaster kind of kind of messed it up for us. I mean, he butchered his name so bad, I kind of want to call him JP Australia moving forward. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. Maybe not, maybe not to him, but... <laughs> He he seems like a guy that he does have a personality. He does have a personality, and sense of humor. So maybe, maybe you know, if they win and come back home, I can get him to sign my boomerang. <laughs> the boomerang man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, 
but take that in stride and yep. have a good time with it while you can. But uh, if Tennessee's able to beat Creighton and Purdue advances, we'll we'll see a lot more of J.P. Estrella. We'll come back here on Josh and Swain. 30 minutes to go on today's show, 865-656-9900 to be a part of it. We have an attaboy to still hand out the power pole to close out the show and more time for you to join us as well on Josh and Swain. Win yourself a limited edition Sports Animal Game Day towel powered by Food City. Just listen for the when and where. Then wave your Sports Animal Game Day towel cheering on the Vols from Food City, your official supermarket of the Vols. And 99.1, the Sports Animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the Sports Animal. The Lady Vols fell to NC State 79-72 to in the second round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Rakia Jackson had a game-high 33 points for Tennessee, which finishes its season at 20-13. and Fifth-ranked Tennessee baseball is set to face off against in-state opponent Tennessee Tech tonight at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. The Vols lead the all-time series 72-32-1, but have a 47-13 advantage when playing in Knoxville. First pitch tonight is at 6 o'clock. You can catch the game right here on the Sports Animal. NBA games on your Tuesday night at 7.30. The Heat host the Warriors. The Lakers visit the Bucks at 8 o'clock. The Pelicans take on the Thunder. And the Mavericks visit the Kings at 10. And the Nashville Predators put their franchise record 17-game point streak on the line tonight against the Vegas Golden Knights in Nashville. Puck drop is at 8 o'clock. I'm Joel Silverberg. This is John, and I'm with Whitney, co-owner of Pipe French Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, voted one of Knoxville's best HVAC companies seven years in a row. What have you got for us this spring, Whitney? We have an exciting limited time offer this spring. Now through the end of March, we are offering a free water heater with the purchase and installation of a new heating and cooling system from Pipe Wrench. If you don't need a new water heater yet, that's okay. We can credit the value of the water heater toward your purchase of a complete HVAC system. Our filter supervisors can give you all the details and work with you to get the best deal. Updating your HVAC system and your water heater at the same time sounds great. What do people need to do, Whitney? All you need to do is call our office or visit our website to book online today. We offer free on-site estimates and free second opinions for HVAC replacements and water heater replacements, too, if a water heater is all you need. We offer financing options as well. Call Pipe Wrench, 865-264-8090, or book online at pipewrench.com. Join us for Mission of Hope's first annual Sporting Clays Tournament, Friday, May 17th at Iron Mountain Sporting Clays in Kodak, Tennessee. Your participation in this event will directly support the Mission of Hope College Scholarship Program. Help our students break the cycle of poverty by breaking some clays. Register a team or become a sponsor today. Go to missionofhope.org for more information. That's missionofhope.org. Help Mission of Hope make a difference one clay at a time. Jake and Christine knew they needed help renovating their dream home. As a Pella advisor, I make sure every step of getting new windows and doors is smooth, including setting you up with our Pella Care Guarantee. It covers everything from product to installation with some of the strongest warranties in the industry. 10% off your project and special financing is available. Go to PellaEastTN.com slash local. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Offer ends March 31st. Hey, this is Chef David Rule. Looking for a barbecue experience like no other? Head on down to Trotter's Barbecue in the heart of historic downtown Sevierville. At Trotter's, we're all about the whole hog. We're talking about slow smoke perfection that's packed with flavor. It's authentic Smoky Mountain barbecue made with locally raised hogs. Open seven days a week from 11 to 8 in historic downtown Sevierville. Check us out at trottersbbq.com to see our mouthwatering menu. Catering at the go packs available? Trotter's Whole Hog Barbecue. A taste of the Smoky Mountains in every bite. Get ready for the event of the season. AgPro is excited to announce that Pro Day is coming this Wednesday where the best prices of the year will be waiting for you. The event starts at 7.30 and goes till 6 p.m. Where you'll get great deals on John Deere and Skag equipment. Receive free gifts and free food. The Eric Ain Show will be broadcasting live Wednesday from 9 until noon at AgPro. The Farragut location at 13131 Kingston Pike. Smart your calendars and save big on everything you need for the season. It's Pro Day this Wednesday only.
Every day, you breathe in thousands of tiny little germs, allergens, and viruses. Don't let these invisible invaders make breathing through your nose impossible. Flush them out with Navage. I'm Martin Hoke, and I invented Navage to make cleaning your nose easy. Navage uses powered suction to pull saline in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out the other nostril, helping flush out everything that makes you miserable. Nearly 4 million people use Navage to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier. People like Doug, a verified Navage user who writes, I had difficulty for years breathing through my nose. After using Navage, my whole breathing has changed. My sinuses don't hurt and no more stuffy nose. It's an amazing product. Unquote. If you suffer from sinus congestion, allergies, or snoring, then Navage is the safe, drug-free solution you've been looking for. Navage is at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, and Navage.com. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. This report is sponsored by Tire Rack. Nearly 3,000 teen drivers die in car crashes each year. Tire Rack Street Survival is designed to save lives. The one-day hands-on driving school gives teens experience in car control through exercises that include emergency braking and skid recovery. Find a class near you at TireRack.com slash survive. We're going to see that rain continuing as we head over the next really several hours. We're going to start to see it lighten up and push out of here by the time we get a little bit later this afternoon, mainly towards the evening hours, highs into about the lower 60s. We're dropping into the upper 40s overnight. A few showers linger early Wednesday morning. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Some law firms specialize in one thing, but there's one here in East Tennessee that specializes in them all. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Fair, honest sports conversation from two guys that define credibility. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us today. With you until 3 o'clock, Tyler and Will will take over there on the Sports Animal. We'll be with you until 3 as well on AM640, the Sports Monster. We've had Rick Barnes on the show today. He joined us in the first hour, the 12-15 segment. And Ron Slade for an entire hour from 1 until 2. The Slay Ride, if you want to go back and listen to those conversations or any part of the show, search Josh and Swain anywhere you get your podcasts, including the WNML app. Apple and Spotify, and you can listen on demand anytime. Thanks to Beatty Chevrolet. Sean in Alcoa texted in and said, Country music singer John Anderson had a hit song called Just a Swinging. I have a better idea for a good hype song for the boys' basketball team. It should be a Jason Swain remix song called Just a Swaining. Whatever helps the team win. Just a swaining. I think that has a. I think that has a tune to it. Perhaps you don't want me to be the one that is tuning. Whatever helps. Something to it. The Vols advance to the Elite Eight. Yeah, this is going to be a big uh, superstitious week as well. We we didn't get to superstitions with Rick Barnes as we mentioned yesterday. We might, but uh, the Dan Hurley topic has gotten conversation. Eight M and M's is his pregame ritual. He has a portable washing machine to keep. Wearing the same underwear that he wore during last year's tournament run. Yeah, I, I, I would love to see a video of him not being able to find his M and M's before the game. Like, I would love to see that. In a panic, who took my M and M's? I need my M and M's now. Well, he, I want to see Tristan Newton take one, so he's left with seven. <clears throat> M&M's to see how he handles that. Uh, he ain't going to say nothing to Tristan. He need him to win. He needs him to win big time. Well, that's why you asked the first team All-American. <clears throat> yeah, he can't, he can't mess with that, man. Tristan Newton is one of the uh, AP first team All-Americans. He is not one of the player of the year finalists for the Naismith Trophy. That was announced earlier today. Dalton Connect is one of them. Four 
finalists for the Player of the Year award. Zach Eady, Dalton Connect, R.J. Davis, and Jamal Shitt. Those are the four consensus first-team All-Americans. It was a, a pretty easy pick, it seemed, for most everybody with the first team this season. So how about that? Tennessee's Dalton Connect. Not a surprise, but a Player of the Year finalist with the Naismith Trophy. Player of the Year. Now you got to go out there and play like it. Yep. That's what you got to do. Whenever you get these awards, all the eyeballs on you now to see, all right, does he deserve it? Can we see that same performance? And that goes for the other three guys too, Shed, Davis, and, and Edie. So we don't connect, man. Eyeballs on you. Go out there and perform. Got to the Sweet 16. The goal is to keep on going. As will apply to all these other players as well. 100%. 100%. So, um, Kim Palm, you go look at their metrics and the teams that they have at the top. Those are the teams who are who are in contention right now, still in the tournament. And Tennessee has been a, a favorite of Kim Palm all season long, and Tennessee is supposed to be here. And hopefully Tennessee can continue to keep dancing. We have – the mental makeup, we got the pieces, we got the experience, we got the coach that understands what it's, what it's like to play in this tournament, even though, yeah, the postseason success hasn't been what we want it to be, what he wants it to be more importantly. But it's set up for Tennessee, like Jonas Adu said in his postgame interview, make a deep run. We hand out attaboys and girls every day. Time to do that every day thanks to Native Design, which brought us the sleigh ride last hour. And now for contractors and landscapers, have the Native Nursery for you from Native Design. Swain, which direction do we go today? I mean, I guess you got to give it to LeJarrius Sneed or you give it to Tennessee, the Titans. Uh, the Titans, they, they haven't made these type of big-time splash moves in the offseason. I know Tennessee uh, Titans fans are happy, but... Uh, Jeffrey Simmons is happy, too. Hey, oh, some help he, on the back end for the work we're doing up front. Yeah, he got paid big, too. Um, but he was paid already part of the organization. Mm -hmm. Titans going out, getting someone that they have confidence in, one of the best corners in the league. Uh, Sneed coming over from the Chiefs. Uh, that happened a couple days ago, but Sneed agreed to terms... On a four-year, $76.4 million uh, deal with the Titans, $55 million guaranteed, and a $20 million signing bonus. So that's life-changing money. That is um, legacy money for him and his family. And so you give an boy to Snead for all the hard work. But how about the Titans, man? Making some splash Frank Carthon is trying to add yeah, some man. impact players. Yeah, attaboy. Ridley at receiver. Pollard, who has to fill big shoes, replacing Derrick Henry in the offensive backfield. And Snead to help on the defensive side on the back end. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's. I I, I see Carthon making some moves. Man. AFC South is going to be sneaky interesting. Those are some franchises that in recent years, not even recent, it's for open. quite a while, it's been like, ah, I don't know how much interest there is. But CJ Stroud and the Texans, what they did this year. Anthony Richardson comes back from injury with the Colts. And the Titans, what they are trying to build. We'll yeah. see. Young quarterbacks. Yep. Young quarterback with all all four franchises. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, Trevor Lawrence, the stock the stock is sliding a little bit, mm -hmm. so he has to have a big bounce back year with losing Calvin Ridley to the Titans. That's right. Tighten so, up. Tighten up. We hand out attaboys and attagirls every day thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery for contractors and landscapers, your one-stop shop for plants, trees, and landscaping materials. That includes boulders, flagstone, mulch, and more located at 3473 Louisville Road, just five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. You can go online to nativetn.com. You can call 865-310-3256 with Native Design which has opened the native nursery for contractors and landscapers. As we have one segment to go here on Josh and Swain, we'll hit the power pole, wrap up thoughts from today's show, get you to Tyler and Will coming up at 3 on 99.1 The Sports Animal, as we also continue on AM640, The Sports Monster.
Stop by the Eric Ains Show broadcast at Food City this Thursday when Eric and Brian are on location at Food City, 9565 Middlebrook Pike near the Ball Camp Road intersection. Nobody does food like Food City, the official supermarket of UT Athletics. Fellas, if you're feeling different, you've noticed maybe you're feeling a little tired, maybe you're grumpy, the motivation and drive is not where it used to be, weight gain, loss of muscle mass, these could be signs of low testosterone levels, and we got to find out where you are with your levels. Well, it's simple at Low T Center. It's a blood test, really simple. You'll get your results back in 25 minutes because of their on-site lab. Low T Center, uh, their physicians specialize in treating low testosterone, and they've been doing this for years with most health insurance accepted. They have affordable and convenient treatment options, including physician-monitored self-inject treatments. That ship directly to you each month, so there's no need to drive to the center for those weekly visits. Right now, at Low T Center, it's just $25 to get your T-level tested. Make your health and quality of life a priority. Go to the website, that's LowTCenter.com, to book your appointment online today. That's LowTCenter.com. This has been a paid announcement. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. Oh, I can't believe tax season is here already. But look at all this info I have to enter. Phil's small accounting firm is growing in numbers. Why didn't I take that typing class in high school? A data entry specialist could really help him in a crunch. I got blisters on my fingers. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Bird Kreischer presents Tops Off World Tour. I look at my dad, I go, hey dad, maybe we should sit down. I don't think your owl's out tonight. 30 seconds later, <laughs> right on top of it we hear, <laughs> my oldest daughter goes, dad, look across the lake at the old man on his dock. There's another drunk, blind, old white man just... Bert Kreischer, live on stage at Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center, Saturday, April 6th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. For 50 years, Waters Equipment New Holland has been the name you've trusted for all your heavy equipment and service needs. Waters Equipment is your full-service New Holland equipment dealer, offering a large selection of new and rental equipment, along with state-of-the-art service center that is second to none. Stop by one of their two locations in Maryville and put their decades of experience to work for you. Call 238-9000 or visit watersequipmentco.com. Waters Equipment New Holland, the best in heavy-duty equipment and vehicle maintenance, proud supporters of UT Athletics. Experience the best attractions and restaurants East Tennessee has to offer at unbeatable prices with our sweet deal of the week. Don't miss out. Check out 991thesportsanimal.com and click on Sweet Deal. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance, making it easy to save money. When you bundle your auto policy with home, condo, or renters, you'll earn a multi-policy discount. Easy to bundle, easy to save. Visit Progressive.com. 99.1, 99.1, the Sports Animal with Josh and Swain goes live this Thursday from 12 till 3 at the all-new Ted Russell Ford Lincoln on Kingston Pike. Experience an aura of luxury from the moment you pull into the parking lot. Ted Russell Ford Lincoln, elevating the customer experience to effortless. When you want to get away from all the daily noise, escape to the Sports Animal stream on our app, smart speaker, or online. Text STREAM to 656-9900 for a listing of ways you can stream us. From the Budweiser Studios of The Sports Animal, we are 99.1 The Sports Animal. Back for the final segment of Josh and Swain. We will have the power poll in this segment. Tomorrow we'll have more football conversations. Swain will be good timing as well. We've done a lot of basketball for obvious reasons. I think people 
still have a good amount of football interest locally, if I'm not mistaken. Tomorrow is a scrimmage day for Tennessee here in the middle of spring practice and also pro day for the VFLs now getting ready for the NFL draft. So in, in a moment, we'll have the power poll. Five players we're interested in learning about with the scrimmage. We will make some assumptions because you can always go into the scrimmage and then guys don't participate as much as you anticipate. So I'll probably be kind of newcomer heavy in this conversation. But you also have young players that are trying to take on bigger roles. So uh, we'll, we'll hit that in a moment. But there will be more football conversation to react to tomorrow with the balls getting ready to scrimmage. Yeah, usually we have scrimmages. The defense has the upper hand in the in the first one, so I'll, I'm expecting that tomorrow. But uh, the, the newcomers probably will be the ones that get the most eyeballs from the fans. People love talking about the newcomers, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's probably emphasized this year because of transfers. I'd say that applies to most schools, transfers coming in. But oh, yeah. you have a bunch of transfers battling for starting positions or kind of just taking them, like Lance Hurd coming in at left tackle. There's, there's no battle over there. He's your starting left tackle. At all. He was he was going to be your starting left tackle before the ink dried on mm-hmm. whatever he's signing. But then when you hear about newcomers coming in, players coming back are like, well, I want that spot. Well, you gotta, so, again, may not apply left tackle. They know the deal there. But when these wide receivers come in, Chaz Nimrod and Caleb Webb should be thinking, I'm going to be out there, right? Yeah. That should be the mindset. Dante Thornton coming back from injury should big, be thinking, yeah, big, big, I'm going to keep playing. Big year for him. Big year for him. Uh, he's definitely on my list. Okay. Yeah. We could really do like a wide receiver list. We could. We could. But – Got to be respectful of other positions. We don't, show. but no, we do because receivers so dependent upon other positions for you to even get the ball. But definitely gonna have uh, Thornton on on my list. Also on today's show, we gave uh, animal comparisons out. We decided on we decided on a lion for Zakai. Where'd we go with Tobe? Several well, several well, textures said bear. But well, I said lion for him. Well, for the example I gave, I mean, I just said he's a dog. And yeah, that's see, right. You said yeah, dog when he for sees Toby. the ball. When he sees the ball, <laughs> he like, sees the ball and goes and gets it. That's right. You know, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter if he has four and a half fouls or not. Like, yeah. he's gonna go get it. You're a lion because of your. No, I'm a Leo. So yeah, it's just it just kind of makes sense. Yeah. By the way, I'm a Gemini. The animal that lines up is fox. What do you think about that? So you like Swiper? <laughs> you Swiper the fox? Maybe. Make sure I put my name on stuff around here. Try to be sly over here. I guess so. I guess yep. so. You try. Others said, uh, for me, platypus, you you labeled me a gecko. Yeah. Intelligent. Yep. That's why. Yep. Uh, Mary Ann did text in and say, no, Josh, you're, you're like a wise old owl. You just don't like to stay up late at night. So that would be a difference. You can't, you can't be an owl, man. I'll take uh, – I'll take fox over platypus or chihuahua, which you also suggested, Pomeranian. Sorry, man. I probably should have just went with the It's okay. With the gecko first. But we got there. It don't matter how you get there, it's the fact that you got there. Hey, gecko's been running for quite some time too. Worst things to be. Very, very much the, so. The Geico gecko. Yeah, very much so. So yeah. Toby. Your dog. Got to be smarter. Understand the situation. But, man, I'd rather have a player that you have to say, whoa, boy, to than go Mm -hmm. sick him. Yep. You don't have to say sick him to Tobe. He already knows the assignment. He is boom, boom, room approved, according to Ron Slay, and fan approved. I think we have seen that very clearly as well. We close out the show with the power poll each and every day. Today, players we are interested in learning about tomorrow – with Josh Heupel's team scrimmaging in the middle of spring practice. Swain, five players you are interested in learning more about with the scrimmage. Yeah, 100%, man. I'm going to go with um, whoever's playing at, at left left guard. Is that Carrick and still banged up? Or Vasai Reddick, uh, Aiden Bustle. That left guard spot um, is what I'm looking at tomorrow. Hold stays, the Notre Dame transfer tight end. Uh, with defense probably having the advantage tomorrow. Uh, don't know if you're going to have all the protection in the world, 
from this defensive line group. So the tight end may be a really good option for Mm -hmm. uh, the quarterback. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Gerard McCoy uh, there at number three, um, the corner transfer. And then we're going to go with uh, Jacoby Thomas, uh, the safety transfer. Boo Carter, newcomer. Is he your number one? Yes, sir. He's number one for me, man. He's number one. Oh, uh, you know, Chris Browsley. I put it right there with uh, Dante Thornton, but Boo Carter's so electric. I, I want to see what he's able to do with guys being out and injured. And I know they're going to do punt return. I know it won't be live, but I'm looking forward to seeing Boo Carter live action. Live action, Tracy. Uh, how many honorable mention spots will you allow? Uh, we don't have time for a lot of those, man. Okay, because I was just going to read the roster. Uh, number five, I have Joshua Josephs. Most of my list is newcomer related, but Josephs is a can you take a leap guy. If he plays at an even higher level to go with what James Pierce has already done and is expected to do this upcoming year, I have Joshua Josephs, number five. Way too low, I'm sure. I have Boo Carter, number four. Yeah, yeah. Part of number three and number two is just the battles. So I have Chris Brazel, number three. Could go Matthews, could go Staley, but Brazel's coming in mm-hmm. to more likely start, I think, as a transfer. And I have Jermon McCoy at number two. It's a receiver corner. Mm-hmm. And then Lance Hurd. He has all SEC potential day one walking in. What are the reports of how he shows up in that first scrimmage as a starting offensive lineman in the SEC? A lot of players to talk about, which we will do tomorrow from 12 until 3. We'll have more football, some recruiting, And, of course, Tennessee basketball getting ready for Creighton tomorrow from 12 until 3. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Joel Silverberg producing. Thank you, as always. See you tomorrow at noon on Josh and Swain. When you have sports mixed with your pop culture, along with humor and celebrity interviews, your earbuds are enjoying the Rich Eisen Show. Kevin Millar, we're all paying rent in Otani's world, right? And the Dodgers world. Game is healthy. Game is good. And, you know, I get asked a lot. Is that good for baseball? Yeah, it's good for baseball. This is definitely the team to beat because that should be your next correction, Richie, is that is this World Series a bust for the Dodgers and Dave Roberts? Hell yeah. Search for the Rich Eisen Show on YouTube or wherever you listen. Every day is a good day to focus on your health. If you suffer from conditions like migraines, intestinal issues, body pain, or are always tired, call doctors Jason and Alicia Bloom at Marble City Chiropractic. From newborns to 100 years, they give individualized chiropractic care based on your needs. They